Oh, we're gonna time. Hello. Hello. What is going Hello. on? I think it's we're the usual bullshit. What the fuck do you mean? Fair. I'm definitely not Fair. so funny. You're arguing over my mom. Fucking yeah, why I? I? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Bell's mom? Bell's mom's really super fucking Jordy. Throws me off. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we we stand. Wait, Bell, what's your mom's name? <laughs> Rachel. We stand Rachel in this call. We do. We, we do. do. We do. Well, Ethan is like, Rachel, asshole, congrats but... on your masters. All right, yes, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, because Belle's mum watches us play D&D. She does. No, I will send her this because she absolutely send her just this clip. stuff. Yeah, I yeah. will clip it and I will send it to my mum because it makes nice. her extremely happy. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if you're going to send this to your mum, I need to, for context, say that I watched The Graduation and I'm not no. just an asshole. No, you are an asshole. No, you're both. You are an you asshole. Both, and you are both. He's not just an asshole. No, don't He's clip it because it's asshole. me going, why I? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Include that. Let <laughs> me take the piss out of mom's, her mom, Max. <laughs> the clip will be titled, Congrats on your masters, Rachel. And then Dr. Why I? Why I? Anyway, um... Hey guys, uh, welcome to Dungeon Select. Hi. <laughs> hi, Dad. <laughs> on that note, uh, it Moving is Sunday. Moving swiftly on. Where, uh, you know, oh. a bunch of us get together act nerdy, roll some dice, and uh, talk a lot of shit, mainly. Just um, like delinquents, honestly. The gang's all here, just like last week, and we have Vincent still here. Hey, Vincent. Hey, buddy. Hello. Um, Despite to, last uh, week. continue on this, this journey, before we get into it, uh, it is still November, which means we are still raising money for charity. We hit 1,300 as of last night, Woo which means that um, soon, TM, probably somewhere either this coming week or the one after there'll be a stream on this channel where i give you guys a little peek behind the dm screen so to say and um do a little i don't know like a little like dungeon master tips how to how i do things a little, a little, a little you know if anyone is an aspiring dm and wants some advice or whatever there'll be a stream dedicated to that um you know how i what do things odds? how i prepare for things uh and if you have any questions regarding dming you know that'll be prime opportunity to, uh, to ask those questions and get them answered. What are the odds that'll players. happen before Saturday? Because I have to DM another one uh, shot on Saturday. I don't know. I can't guarantee okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, um, you know, exclamation mark charity. If you want to donate, there's links there. There's a panel down below. All that good shit. Other than that, I don't really have... Oh, uh, I mean, uh, tomorrow, uh, Divinity returns after a two-week hiatus because of uh, other shit and obligations and all that stuff. Me, Ethan, and uh, Duke will be back on our Divinity bullshit, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this Wednesday, there will be a one-shot for charity. Uh, same rules as last time apply, where, you know, donations can cause things to happen in-game and all the good stuff. Um, and Thursday, we'll have Dungeon Discourse. And before you know it, it's Sunday again, baby! Mm -hmm. I think that's Wait, me done. Any more announcements before we start? I uh, don't think so. Uh, the be... oh. charity one uh, live stream from last week is now on the YouTube. I saw. Good so if you if you missed it, it's there now. So it was a lot you of fun. See, you can see the madness that happened last night. It was a lot of fun. And you can get some and... ideas for your own charity donations because we had some people get creative and come yeah. up with their own um, yeah ideas. And the final fight was very fucking intense. And OSG yeah. saved the fucking day. Holy shit! Let me tell you. Um, that was wild. That was fucking wild. It was a good time. It was very a cool one shot. It wasn't very. It wasn't anything like mind blowing. It was just adventurers go into underground lair, find necromancer, fight necromancer. But uh, it was I mean, it was a dungeon cool. Dungeon crawls are great. Yeah, it was just a little dungeon crawl. Yeah. Um, fighting some nasties along the, along the way, raising some money for charity. It was lit. Uh, this next one shot is a completely different theme. The next next one shot Ooh. involves um a group of people chasing after a legendary pirate treasure oh that that's sounds gonna be cool. uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun as fuck i'm excited Pirates. Um, we're gonna have duke we're gonna have hallucin we're gonna have opti and we're gonna have hunter omega so that's gonna be uh, a fun time for sure um i mean if we don't have any more announcements uh, pfft. Guess we'll just guess we'll just fucking get into it, dude. Right yeah. there. Let's fucking get it. So last we left off, the party started their journey 
to Streatham, accompanied by the Erganasi Sai, who is a, a member of the Kalzir's Adventurers, the guild that is an offshoot of the Heroes of Exile back in Kalzir. Um, Sai, being a bit of an investigator himself, um, was conducting an investigation regarding the whereabouts of uh, Jirden Fearkrag f uh, under the authority of uh, General Kron, and has joined the party for this to uh, basically track him down and uh, take care of him. Party are supposed to meet up with the captain of the Blue Sentinels stationed in Streatham, uh, a half elf named Hold. Um, Reanes? Reanes. Yeah. 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 Uh, to get further information uh, and, and some pointers of where they probably should start looking, uh, on their first day of the, this three day journey, they uh, encountered these metal plated bulls with a green petrifying breath uh, known as gorgons that um had killed some 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 traveling traders and uh almost took a laser out with their petrifying breath but uh, luckily twice twice but luckily um Everyone came out of that fight uh, do, f looking and, and feeling dandy. <laughs> and uh, they made camp for the night. And you are about to start your second day of travel on this three-day trek. So, with that said, it is morning. You're on, uh, I believe we left off with you guys waking up um, to start your day. So, uh, we'll take it from there. What are you guys doing? What does it smell like? <laughs> It okay, smells yeah. like the morning. <laughs> okay, but you know we're in even. we're in the wilderness. What do we what do we uh, make a perception check? My tr my dice. <gasps> oh no! Oh, <laughs> no. oh shit! Dice. That That's still a very good clip, that. actually. That's a thing that we used. Those are things we use. Oh, yeah. thirteen. Thirteen. Um, this morning. Uh, you can faintly, very faintly, smell um, the the aroma or the scent of some um, like small critter uh, feces. Oh, um, love that smell! <laughs> kind of like, kind of like just, just penetrating your nostrils and just kind of oof. So it seems that that some kind of critter, whether it be a rabbit or a mouse, has, has or or maybe something slightly bigger has. Um, Pooed somewhere near your camp. You're not sure exactly where, but other than that, um, I mean, just nothing really particularly interesting. I mean, I guess we start taking out rations to eat because camping life. <laughs> taking tents like, oh, down, yeah. <laughs> bed rolls. Uh, how are the horses doing? Doing all right. Um, still like. That whole encounter with those cultists last time uh, definitely has them still a bit cautious, a bit a bit well, shaken. But um, given given the circumstances, they seem they seem alright. They seem fine. Get them all uh, set up with the carts and everything. Get ready to get ready to go. All right. Yeah, I'll start I'll rolling up my bedroll yeah. and everything. I'll spend like fucking ten minutes changing my spell list. Okay. Sounds good. That's a good idea, actually. Morning prayers and all that shit. Sounds good, sounds good, brother. Mm. Oh, I'm going to buy new arrows soon. <laughs> Joys of being a ranger. Mm -hmm. Or a, a, you know, a bow-wielding ranger, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh Oh no, how's Onu doing? He's look he's looking alright. Um yeah, he's uh, also getting ready to kind of start today. He's kind of, you know, rustling his feathers a little bit and and kind of in a, in a weird way almost like kind of like like you know, cracking his neck a little bit, you know, a very Yeah. Um I don't know. You've got yourself a bird with a lot of personality and it shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, big bird? And I just sort of ruffle his, you know, scratch his feathers around his head and stuff. Hope you're, uh, you know, feeling all right. 
back in the old uh, bird shape again. I don't know if like he gives you a little see, you know, gives you a little how mod. easy it is. I'll sort of you know give him a little bit of my rations and uh... oh, I got to mark off rations actually. Make sure you know make make sure Onu's fed. Make sure he's looking you know looking healthy, looking good, all mm -hmm. that good shit. Um, obviously, made made sure the horses are doing fine. Throw our tents and stuff into the back of the cart and get everything get everything loaded up and ready to go. Beautiful. Looks uh, looks like another well another couple of days right on the road. So mm -hmm. best best get moving as soon as we can. All right. All right. Mm, sounds good to me. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Elijah. Your voice is weird. <laughs> Did your mic just Elijah, like come out of that hole? He's stuck, he's stuck in a cave. He's stuck in a well. He's like in the bottom of a well. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his tent stuck on his head. There's a hole down here. Out. I don't know how it goes. Oh, why are you under the cart? <laughs> <laughs> he's checking the axles. What the fuck? <laughs> The classic, the classic, unplug it, plug it back in. Uh, yeah, fix. Yo, mic check. <laughs> well, he's afraid. No, mic check was going on. <laughs> <laughs> he's finally out from under the car. Do you You're sleep not under bad. the car? Uh, it's not too comfortable. <laughs> It was it's just, just the, morning, the morning time yeah, for all the throat, you know? Yeah, I, I, I took like, the tape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <morning. laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <Sing around>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you guys set off uh, on the second day of your journey, and the day goes by relatively um, a lot easier than the last one. No stone or stones, no metal plated bulls terrorizing the roads this time around. Um, yeah, is Onu flying ball. overhead again? Yeah. Yeah. Standard. Okay. Uh, at some point, you'll hear Onu uh, make his. Um, Make make you know make make the make the beak sound mm. and we'll call. uh, calling for your attention. Um, and as soon as you kind of you know you hear that and and Onu will kind of dart forward in a direction in, in a certain in like a like a south western direction. And when you look over to where he's going to, you notice uh, the remnants of what must once have been a, a village covering the area. Uh, How many hours seems is Seems as though our... this village has been burnt down quite some time ago. How many hours have we been on the road at this point? Don't this is about halfway through your day. Okay, so like noonish. Yeah. Like what? Like lunchtime? Okay. Well, looks like uh, Fear Krog and his minions have been up to their usual business again, I don't suppose... It'd be worth checking it out, but um, it doesn't mm. look promising. Yeah. It looks like it happened yeah, a while ago. Yeah. There might, there might still be people around. We should probably just move through. Mm. Yes, I say we probably move on. We won't find much in there. Can mm, I quickly... I depends how. Can, can I quickly just like try and... Um, with my slightly enhanced sense of smell as a cat person, just sniff the air and see if I smell any... Any like human or like creature that humanoid smells that aren't us, like in case someone was trapped in any of the Make a perception rubble check. or anything. I know it's very unlikely. Excuse me. Yeah, with all the smoke and all that. Uh, I rolled a sixteen. Um, you do smell uh, the scent of like burnt flesh. Ooh. But other than that, you don't you don't smell anything that would indicate there being any alive Living. people All right. still in that place. I just like wrinkle my <clears throat> nose and like take a handkerchief and kind of like. Bleh. What's the uh like, what's the terrain like? Is it, is it tropical or is it like um, fills <clears throat> fills and yields? <laughs> Hills and fields, like what's <laughs> to the northeast? You're kind of like you're you're pretty close to like a, like the edge of, of of a jungle to the northeast. Um, mm. But the road you're traveling to the south uh, to the to, to the west and southwest uh, is you can see the coast. You can kind of see the see the ocean and see the coastline uh, because the land is pretty flat around here. 
Uh, so you're kind of between like the beach and the jungle at this point. Um, just, you know, green, grassy, flat land um, all the way towards uh, street them pretty much. Can we see the sea from here? Um, yeah. Nice. Do we smell it? Make a perception check. <laughs> it's like a burning village. Like... <laughs> The sea. <laughs> Beach uh, episode. Hmm. Beach can I, can I, there's a hint of salt water in the air. There's like literally this burning flesh and like wood <laughs> smoke like billowing through the sky. Sea salt cured meat. Uh, Fourteen. Weird combo. Um, no, the sense of like uh, cindering wood kind of uh, overpowers anything That's else. Dude. What's on the horizon? The way we're heading. What's on the horizon? You can see yeah. in the distance, uh, you can see the outline of, of, a, of a settlement or town um, in the direction you're going to. You're, you gather, that's probably Streatham. Um, you do see roughly, because it's, it's very flat, so you can see pretty far. Hmm. Um, make a perception check for me. See if you can catch any like details on the road. Oh, 24. 24? You see what seems to be some kind of wooden shack right beside the road. Uh, pretty far down the road still. Does it look like a home or is it just like a little like um, an emergency telephone? It's too small to be a home. Mm -hmm. You also cannot tell from this distance if there's people there. But um, as you're kind of traveling and get closer... Um, you do see a man, uh, like this, this half orc, pretty brutish man, small, small like tusks coming out of the the bottom corners of uh, of, of the mouth. Uh, one of these tusks has like a little ring around it. Uh, he kind of steps in the middle of the road, and he seems to be wearing um, this like this 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 white plate with blue finishes, rem reminiscent of of the blue sentinels there their get up. He kind of like puts his hand up. Oi! Stop the cart for a second. Does, is he armed? Uh, he has weapons. Like ha he has a sword uh, down his belt, but he's he's not like he's not wielding it. What did you say? Did you say this was like? an orc? Half it was an orc because he had a thing on his tusk. Half orc. Okay. What? Uh, what I'm gonna... say he had on? Like, uh, like a like a white and blue plate, reminiscent yeah. of that of the blue sentinel. It is. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna stand up. Is, is there an issue? Well, given the, um, you know, threat that's been plaguing the land in the form of cunts sitting shit on fire, they've stationed guards all around the roads leading up to towns and settlements to make sure to keep an eye on things and, uh, wanted to have a little look, see, have a little chat, see what you, who you are and what you're doing. Um, yeah, of course. We are actually um, on our way to deal with the issue at the orders of General Kron. Yeah, so. Any signs of this cobweb yeah. insignia that uh, allows me talking about? Ooh, make a perception check. Hmm. Uh, 19. We'd like everyone to deafen for a second. Oh, oh. God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh my god, where's Uh Davian? Mm. You can see very faintly, covered by the majority the majority covered by uh his armor. Like from the neck down to the shoulder, a tattoo that hints at that could potentially be a spider web. Everything else is not he looks like a straight up guard. It doesn't look like he's masquerading like does his uniform fit well does he look the part because he looks the part he looks the part which kind of works with that with uh elasm story of like they have people everywhere that that whole like it seems that seems to check out like his outfit matches what you've seen in Eldilon and what you've seen in in the other cities and towns you've been in um his story seems to ring true he seems to just be a guard, a blue sentinel, but he has a tattoo. Like, or you can see 
parts of a tattoo Some that semblance. could be of the design that you're Oh, I wish Lazarin had taught me more. Fuck. Um. Yeah, we'll just do uh, it. Okay. We back. Uh, mm -hmm. Except for Beth. Did we die? <laughs> Bell still, still deafened. Alive. Oh, there she goes. No, no, she's not. About to yell. Sorry, I was trying to get the thing to work. You good, you good. I'm trying to get the thing to do. The thing to do, thing to do the thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, do with that information uh, as you see fit. Or don't. Or don't. Um, Bell. <laughs> Do could I you, have? Could you roll a persuasion sorry. check real quick? Because you're trying to, you know, convince the okay. man that you're. Do I have any paperwork to like show that we're doing this? Seeing as I'm like investigating, so I can like help Ooh, explain. I'm so good at oh, like a bounty, people. like a contract um, or something. You, Sai, probably would. You yeah. are an investigator, and you probably keep records of your investigation and your meetings and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um. So. Like I don't know if, if you can have, provide like, uh, Kess with those documents. Uh, yeah. I'll give Bell advantage on the persuasion roll here. Okay. Yeah, take these to show him. Uh, I rolled a dirty 20, so... 20? Let me have a look at those, if you don't mind. And he kind of, like, uh, reaches out uh, and, and skims through the paperwork. I want to lean over to Onu. How how tall are the sides of this cart? Um, like, from the ground? Like, if you're, like, from the ground up, the cart mm. is slightly taller than the average person would be. So it's, like, it's like six... Between six and seven foot. So this guy, like, he might not be able to see into the cart. Like, he might not be able to see everyone's heads. Correct. Okay. I'm going to lean over to Onu. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, because Onu's obviously, I'm on, on the, like, driver seat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to whisper to Onu. Go in the back of the cart. Snag the collar of Elazarin's cloak and pull him down into the footwell of the cart. Intrigue. Okay. Um, this half work right now, busy going through the paperwork and having conversation with, with Sai and, and, and Kes. Um, Onu swoops down and tries to pull you down, the last one, like, like, puts his beak on, like, the, co the, the collar of your shirt and just... Puts all of its weight and just, in trying to drag as, it down. As can you, subtly can you as I can. for Onu? Yeah, I can roll. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope you're contesting one. I was not too much of a like. If you're resisting, then yes, Koiba. Yeah, I would. Man's about to get suplexed by a bird. <laughs> that would be I mean, it's just trying to, like, like signal to, like, mm -hmm. get him down, yeah. like, crouch down. I just search Onu on Google rather than <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> Beast of the Sky or whatever. Google, well, what's called? Onu's stat? Oh, IV Onu. Oh, God. You could probably put one in your extras, no? He has to roll pretty dog shit to lose to me. I guess... Wait, what? I don't know what he has proficiencies in. Right, if the stat block doesn't, doesn't say it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have say it, then he doesn't have it. It's just a plus okay. whatever the. Yeah. Uh, then that's a that's a fourteen for Onu. Oh, four. Okay. <laughs> so, Elazrin, this big fuck off stork swoops down, grabs your collar with his with his beak, and just pulls you down to kind of like, yeah. What the and, fuck are you doing, Onu? Just like stands over you and just stares at you. I'm gonna just you, like try like, and do almost like, like uh, kind of intimidating for for like you like oh this big fuck of bird oh, is almost like, like a hand signal like bird. from the front just like they're like three feet tall like they're they're yeah, not big. small except uh, at least four feet probably mm. close big to bird. five I mean I yeah. <clears throat> not being quiet about it, like what the fuck are you doing on him <laughs> I mean, get your fucking I'm, like, I'm like I'm like trying to keep it subtle like. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there's a lot I, of I like, on I, the I find like seat. look over, like I can't, I just make eye contact with Gavin, just like. I don't really know what's um, going on, but seeing that, I'm just gonna kind of go like slowly, kind of sidle in front of uh, a Lazarin, okay. just because like between me and like the giant spear across my back that's like bigger than me, it's just like obstructing vision some more. Okay. Um, meanwhile, this half orc is looking through the documents. All right, uh, seems seems to all check out. All right. Appreciate you. Uh, yeah, you should probably meet up with the captain and, and, and I'm assuming you're headed to Street then, right? According to this documentation. Yes, yes. Um, of yeah, it's fine by me. Uh, looks good. Safe travels. Perfect. Thank you. 
and he hands all the paperwork right. back and and clears the road yep. and just like motions for you to keep going before we move on i'll just lean over um i don't having dealt with these arsonists a couple of times i'm not sure they're going to be traveling on the main roads i, I appreciate what you're doing here but your efforts might be better spent no, we've, searching we've got people we, we found them in caves off and... the roads as well but uh, basically we um there's a bit of a perimeter that we've set up especially you know around streatham uh because of the importance of the town uh trust me when i say the roads isn't the only places we've got people stationed do you know what happened to that village about a couple of miles back uh briarstown yeah it's um small village uh, i think burnt down a few months ago and i have a little c for the tattoo <clears throat> if there's a tattoo on your shoulder. You're down in the if, fucking cart. You're down no. in the cart. I'll give you I'm down in the cart. I'm still, check, there's a difference between, like, thing down at that, but then there's also, like, Perception check. I'm now, a, I am now intrigued as to why mm -hmm. this isn't the only one thing that I go through Lazarus' mind. He is going, uh, Lazarus will, po will poke his fucking head up to have a look. Make a perception right. check oh with disadvantage if you're trying to remain hidden. Right. So, like, your angle isn't going to be the best. Do I want to remain hidden? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Do I? Not really, but I mean, I, I will. <laughs> uh, the fuck is that number? Is that the same as what I just rolled? No, it's not. Okay, uh, it's 15. Um, you see the, 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 the plate armor covers it pretty well, but you can see like from down the neck to like to like the shoulder, something that could resemble parts of a spider web, you yeah. know? Can I inside I just, check him? I will just inside check the, the guard? Yeah. Sure. What what specifically are you inside checking? Like which what of his statements or said. actions? Okay. The, about the weather station okay. again. Um, fourteen. Yeah. He uh, he seems pretty genuine. You don't track any any sense of like lies or or like any like weird facial expressions when he's saying what he's saying. He... That's an odd coincidence. Um, it's, all right. Uh, well, it's quite uh, a shame they had a they had a nice, uh, you know, a nice uh, what's it called? Like a nice brewery in that in that town. Uh, place got torched by you know the people that you seem to be investigating. So, how long ago? Uh, a few months. Huh. And uh, <laughs> people haven't bothered to rebuild. They just kind of moved to different places. Um, Picked up their lives, started over. Well, yeah, um, we're uh, heading through to um, Streatham, I think. So, well, safe travels, and uh, thank you for the assistance. Of course. And thanks for being compliant. Watch. I know that you know being stopped while on the roads is is is, is inconvenient and all that. And I appreciate orders. Are oh. orders. You know, I appreciate not, not having an attitude like some of the travellers that I have to stop. Uh, oh, of course, of course. What's that uh, small building up up the road there? Oh, no, you're at that building at this point. Oh, we're at the hut. Like, oh, okay, okay. What's so, like so, a little, little, little shack that he kind of sits in while... Like a toll booth. That yeah, they kind of, for where he just kind of sits in and waits for people to uh, approach. Does it look like this room where, like, other people could be in the, the hut, or is it, like, literally like a fucking garbage? No, it's chest? literally, like, like, like almost like a toll booth in size. It's very small. It's not much. Okay. There's, like... Can we see like, into you it? Can peek, you can kind of see into it, and there's, like, a chair and a desk, and that's about it. Can we see the floor? Yes. No trap doors or anything, is there? Make a perception check. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, mm, dirty twenty. Trust. As trust far as you no can one. tell, there isn't any any trace of it. Okay. I don't, dude. I don't trust this guy at all. <laughs> I we can tell. <laughs> well then, safe travels. Uh, if you yeah. need a place to like camp out at, I know there's a pretty popular campsite um, about four hours down the road. Um, a lot of people use it. Should be safe. Thank you. Um, no worries. I hope your your shift is not too troublesome. Uh, yeah, I'll be here pretty much. <sighs> See what time is it now? Probably. I don't know, until uh, probably for the next eight hours, I'll be I'll be stationed here. So. Uh, you know, it's not 
the most exciting job but pays the bills doesn't it that's true all right well, bye no oh, have a good day and he oh, wow. clears the road and just waits for you to pass once, isn't a port once time, we're at a point where that guard's out of no. sight, okay. I'm just gonna like tap Davian on the shoulder and then just go like this, like hands up, shoulder shrug, and tilt head. I'll tell her onto okay. a You are a fucking mug. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't. I don't know what that means, Abby. I... You are What's a mug. On? You I... would that. Oh, I. I'm not going to jump back there and drag you down into the bottom of the fucking cart, but the least I could do is send Oni back to keep your head down. I understand. <laughs> well, I did also why... just get randomly attacked by your bird. Why so does that you make him at what point? I, I, I was waving my hand. I was trying to make it clear that this was intentional and that you need to lay down because he's clearly... Well, well he's not going to see your hand if he's in the bottom of the cart. Listen, it was all going on to at the you. Same I was looking at the guy. God. I don't it would probably Why be worth are you establishing hiding? some sort of code for that if we need to convince someone to hide. I understand why. Source as well. Is, is Mug an insult? <laughs> yes. Yes. How? how? Uh, because uh, I don't know. Uh, are you of wanted? Sang. Because it upsets people. Well, to a hiding? degree. Well, I didn't particularly want this to come up right now in front of everyone, but I suppose my hand has been backstage. I am not. I'll, I will pull out the drawing of the spider web with the sword in it. Secret. And I was part of a, well, as initiating a group. They call themselves the Nightwebs. And they have had a recent change in leadership and don't like loose ends, of which I am one. And I've been told by a very good friend of mine that they're after me. Meanwhile, there's and a fucking, fucking... Train passing through Bell's house. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Half back there happened to have <laughs> one of them, well, a tattoo to some degree of said spider web. Didn't, didn't get to see it fully. Could have just been a spider web. Have any of us heard of the night webs before? Absolutely not. Okay. Figured to clarify. They so are the very. The drawing, is it just like a spider web with a sword it's in the like, middle? Is the sword like slicing the web? It's like... literally, think of like, think of like Storm the Stone. It's like sword down and then like kind of like spider web over the top of it. Kind of okay. like. Mr. DM. Hello. Do I recognize this tattoo? I've spent a lot of time in tattoo shops. Ah, <laughs> uh, make a history check. You would. <laughs> Mr. DM, I need to address this Briarstown business. Why? Why? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Why, why is there a village? It's not, a, it's not an uncommon name or anything just, at all. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that they're no one I know. History? No. It's a winky dink. History, Son yeah. Son of a bitch. Plus zero, so 16. Oh, I don't like that guard. I want to. Okay. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sad. Oh, do, do, do. Hold on so for a sec. Uh, Brooks? Um, mm. You've seen people with that tattoo before. Uh, okay. you're not sure when exactly, and but they you know, they just seem like normal people getting a tattoo done. So it's like something I've seen more than once. Yeah, that design you've seen. Yeah, absolutely. What the fuck is this? Oh, mm. I what do they do? <laughs> they like Russian sleeper. That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> They it's pretty much what they are, think, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they really, they think of themselves above everything. You, <clears throat> they, they decide who's in power and who isn't. At least they believe they do. Their, they core belief is against corruption, but what they believe is corruption can be anything. They don't have strong morals. I disagree with them completely. That's why I'm a, that's why I never became a part of them. I disagreed. You you were never a part of them. Uh, I I was a, my uh, my tutor in the in the church uh, invited me along to some meetings, and I was a trainee there. But before I became a full member, I absconded. Do However, they like, try to change power? Yes, whoever they think is not corrupt, but 
their version of corruption is whoever they think can help them the most. Whoever I can't don't... be corrupted by yes. them is corrupt yeah. Yeah. to them. Would, would they have maybe helped the UNT? No is idea. Tranliel? If anything, probably the other way around. That doesn't help them. They'd be more up against... They'd want peace. They would want more people to be able to in their sphere and web, as it were. Um, I don't know much Symbolism. at all. I don't know how. I don't know how deep this lies. I don't know who's part of it. I don't know anything like that. I didn't want to worry you all because, as we can now mm. see with here, we now think that everyone might be a part of this. I'm still well, and we, we suddenly start distrusting no, everyone. No, no, no. Then. So when um, we had that conversation about is anyone got shit that's gonna bite them in the ass at some point, and I at that time I didn't know they were after me. Mm. But there was when a possibility, told... and you knew there no, was a possibility. No, he's got, there was he's no got possibility. A point. There was no possibility. As far as I was told, when I left, that that was fine. You that left had a super before. shady, shady fucking. Group yes. of people that like to control and I, things, and you thought they'd just happily let you wander off into the wilderness. Yes, because the person who told me that I trust dearly, I trust more than anyone else in this world. Then you're more of a fool than I took you for. Well, you're I mean, so really blaming for this, if, his if this, if this, if the same person that you trust is the person who's now let him know that they're after him. Yeah, this person told, told me that I'm after them. They are I don't think he's a fool for trusting them. He he's a, let me know. Well, Elijah well, mentioned that there's a it. change of. Yeah. That a change of heart. I mean, I. If you I didn't know they were after him, I don't blame him for not bringing it up. So I want to just go over and like just quit, like just like walk up behind a Lazarus and just pull aside the the collar of his thing to see if there's a spiderweb tattoo that peeks out, just like he was describing the guard head. Just, just looking down his shirt. Is there a spider? Like, like, I mean, oh. we've seen him naked, right? Like, yeah, oh, shit, we have. Yeah, have. No, wait, no, wait. Not... no, he didn't join us. He did. I did go. join. Yes, he did. did he joined after he did himself. Yeah, yeah. 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 does not have a tattoo. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I, take it I feel like it's going to, this is going to turn into one of those things. Like, you know, when you see an ant and you're like, you look at, oh, you're like, oh, there's an ant. And then suddenly you'll like realize that there's everything in your vision is moving and you like focus out and there's like hundreds of ants. How many characters in our backstory? How many like your sister in like your backstory has one of these tattoos? Like, I don't know, man. Hey, man. I do. Guess, guess what? Uh, this is my favorite fucking thing because this is just making us all so fucking paranoid. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is a Thanks, is... <laughs> how, how long have this organization had any sort of power? Oh god, you're asking the wrong person there because I don't know. But from what they say, a uh, long, long time. Very long is time indeed. the guy still on the road? If I look back, is he still back there? Yeah. He's like, he's not on the road anymore, but he's like in, his, in, a, in a little shack that there, that there is. Sitting. It's just me that thinks it's really fucking weird to have one guard out in the middle of nowhere. It should we interrogate him? Yeah. No, what are no. You, what, he's not going to tell us anything. Also, Why do we need to find also, anything if, out anyway? If this goes as deep as I think it's, he's probably just a foot soldier. He probably yeah. doesn't. He probably knows as much as I do. He doesn't have any significance. He's just so just what I'm hearing is, if we want power. any sort of information about who might be able to stop this from happening to you, we'd have to find someone high up, and we'd oh, probably oh, have to no, kidnap no. a government official. Here's it, right. Here's yes. the thing. Here's the thing. What's the weirdest? The weirdest thing to me that there is a guard about well, two days march away from the city that he's stationed at. Where's he sleeping? In the shack. I he's guess. out here in the middle of nowhere. There's like... nothing in that shack. <clears throat> you know, we can ask. Own? We can ask the general when we go. When we when we talk to them yes. in mm. in Streetham. As long as he's not got and corroborate cor 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 that order. I think he there's, knows there's no. I think he knows more than we. No, uh, no, I don't think so. him. I mean, why um... would he know anything more than a Lazarin? I he don't. Does think... he serve by knowing more? He's just a risk of leaking information if he's interrogated and tortured because he has he... an obvious symbol of allegiance to this. Group. If he doesn't, he's probably got. A ledger in that shack. And... Of course he doesn't have a ledger in that shack. That would be ridiculous. Why? To know who's coming through. What if... What if, what, if he catches someone with fucking 
15 boxes of flint and steel to mm -hmm. set fire to half the town, but he's not going to have something to write that down in? Why would he? Uh, like write I said, he's out in the Why middle of nowhere. Just immediately take them. He would in. need to write it down. What? Two days fucking march. Well, Cass on his own. Why is Why is he on his own? Like, welcome to the wonderful world of bureaucracy, Cass. I fucking love this. A dude. DM. <laughs> yes. I do not. Does the guard much. give us like any like glances as we go? I mean, we're, we're long gone now. Okay. When you I passed, mean, he like looked at the back of the cart just to sort of, like you know, but didn't really like look. Look, he just kind of. Okay. Yeah. He just sees a massive Watch bird. <laughs> he saw gonna... he saw a guy in the back. He didn't give a shit who he was. Yeah. I'm gonna sign to Kess and imply to share the group. At the moment, I, I think we have a bigger priority anyway. We can look into this after we deal with Fearkrug. Sorry, Elazarin, not to imply that your situation isn't important. I will relay that. Not at all. If anything, I think the same. I think anything but i don't think we're gonna get anything out of anyone who we've seen with that yeah. all, Just... all i'm all i'm saying is if it, you know he's pro if he is taking note of people who pass through and he caught a glance of this one person of interest that he might know of he's gonna note it down and by the time he's off his shift and back in in streatham whoever needs to know about it will know so that's they probably already know on the way it wouldn't surprise me people we've talked to who are thinking up i hate this Yes. Well, this is why I want to keep to myself because I didn't want to worry. This is why I live so in worried. the woods. This is. Davin seems to be pretty worried about it. I mean, I'm yeah. panicking every Davin time we're in a... Every time Legend. we're surrounded by people, I'm panicking. That's not the point. Much more uh, fucking two worried about it you. now that I know it's been going on. No. Yes. 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 Uh, one. Are you able to disguise yourself? I'm not. I am. Okay. Um. Yourself secondly... or him? Him. Well, both. Oh. Um, do they always have the tattoo in the same place, or...? As far as I'm aware, it was always on the shoulder, but it could be in it different varies. places. Like, oh, you know that some people take left yeah. shoulder, some people take right shoulder, but yeah. shoulder is definitely think, always the location. Yeah, shoulders. Yeah, it seems to be a shoulder tattoo. Some people have preference. Past that, I don't know. As I say, I'm not going to hide myself away. You know, I'm not going to hide in every city and every you know, big place we go to where there might be people who might see me. It's not worth my time. Uh, no, this is it's, my, it's not this just is... you that gets fucking killed no, over it though, not anymore. Because it won't be. It will just be me. It's my no, problem to deal with at the moment. They'll but take out so anyone they So we're just supposed to what, fucking stand out of the way and let you get stabbed by some fucking dickweed with a fucking spider and <laughs> sword tattoo. Dickweed. <laughs> Do they have like a leader or a title for him? Probably. No, I don't know. Right, chance. Well, realistically, shadow chancellor. Um, you fucked yourself because you've involved yourself in us, and we, as a group now, have to do shit together. I want to yeah. sign to Cass. As I said, I was only very. Find recent. out who it is. I've only very Maybe recently realized that we, after me. We do have some connections we could utilize. But if you get I attacked, asked... they're not going to attack just you. I've asked one of your associates, um, Jolly. They didn't seem to know anything about it. No, uh, I'm not thinking of them. I just signed to her, uh, the, the Asimar. Yeah. Probably. He would probably just know. Maybe... be wary who, who you share this with. Oh, yes. This, I Better mean, this not day have one of those tattoos. Um, maybe I'll know. <clears throat> yeah. Who? Mm? We're in sign language right now. You don't know. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mm. I, I appreciate all of your concerns. And yes, you're right, Brooks. This is now starting to involve you guys. However, don't. It's not your for. It's not a forefront. I don't believe it to be such an immediate threat. I will watch my bank. I will ensure, to my best ability, that you will not come to harm's way and that this will be dealt with. I can't guarantee anything, but. There's no point in panicking over it and worrying, over worrying about it. We just keep on moving. Obviously. For now. If we panic, we, just... we obviously are making it obvious that we know things. Exactly. If anyone I'd is, rather I need to. You continue I'd as normal. Believe it better. I live in ignorance than pretend that there's not people after me right now. And in private quarters, I will panic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so we panic behind closed doors. Exactly. Obviously, when no one else is looking. When no one can see. Well, I mean, no one can really see us out here. There's no one following us. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh, fuck, he's right. So I'll just sign to Kess. Do we tell him we can maybe find out, or do we wait and in case it goes nowhere, and in case we can't get answers, we don't get his hopes up? Say nothing. I'll nod. I mean, Wait, did you sign that? Yeah. Kess? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I was gonna say, well, Dag is not saying much in the first place. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Fucking hell. Well, good to know that we have the fucking saucy spider gang breathing down our necks <laughs> everywhere we go. Not our necks, just the last ones. It's fine. As far as they're aware, you guys don't know. I I, I suddenly oh, turn to look at, look at Psy and point at Psy and gesture asking Sai to pull aside his collar or cloak. Or his shoulder. Oh, Yeah, for sure. shoulders. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it aside. Bow, bow, you, bow. <laughs> you, uh, you don't see any spider Great. tattoos, okay. but you do Call. see Throw some like, white, uh, like beginning of like white line tattoos across oh, his cool. entire chest, like all over. Cool. You see, oh, you wait, see a like spider mine? tattoo, you see 20. I don't know if they're like <laughs> yours. <laughs> You see the biggest spider. I have, I have his like, entire all over my chest face. is just a sword with like this. <laughs> <enormous> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not a tattoo. It's like a real like spider with a sword. In it. He <laughs> is the leader of the group. I <laughs> am the group. Um, no, the tattoos well. that you see, Kes, do resemble what you have going on, like the markings you have. Um, it, it, uh, not like a carbon copy of it, but similar, like. Ah, yes. Okay. Similar enough. <laughs> Another person who doesn't need to go through pain to look cool. Mm. I guess. Well, I mean, just having blue skin makes you pretty cool. It does, you're right. Sorry, Brooks. Sai's <laughs> <laughs> oh, just I observing because... Of... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know many other Echinaces, Sai? Mm. No, not really. Oh. I heard that there was a large yes. group of them on the on this continent, but I haven't heard anything else to corroborate that since I first heard about it. Well, yeah, the whole uh, you're the first one I've met in a very long time. The whole uh, you are uh, the first one I've met. Being in, in tune with the elements mm. and all that, maybe mm. maybe there's more Ganassi here than elsewhere. Hopefully, it would be good to know some others. Mm. I mean, Kosu's probably here somewhere. If that, if that doesn't say enough, there's a real uh, emphasis on elemental powers, it seems, among the um, religion of the, the natives, so. That's true. It would it would make sense for it to be true then. Maybe there if there are aren't Ganassi, points. there's pathways to the elemental planes or something like that. <clears throat> I'm probably, I could probably find a way to the elemental planes if I wanted to without searching for months on end well if it was that easy i'm sure more people would be able to do it well i do know a gin okay you're one step mm. closer than me did you ask him by the way <laughs> hmm? did you ask him what his name was no i haven't had a chance yet i'm dying to know no I real reason. Him. I have a name and I have a gin, and it's like, well, is, do they go together? It's not. It's of absolutely no importance, but it's just these two things that I feel are connected. I felt really smart I when I read it up. I will ask him tonight for you. I appreciate it. I'll have an answer in the morning. Probably. <sighs> I haven't. Depends I haven't on, heard from depending on his mood. <laughs> she is so going to lie to you about the name is Devin. It's funny. <laughs> you, 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 well. Why if would that you give his... away my tricks? So if that isn't his name, you should ask for a clue. Oh, a clue. Maybe a series um, of clues. Ooh, that would be fun, like a treasure hunt. When you do the Blue's same clues. trick ten times Blue's over, clues. it's not much of a trick anymore. <laughs> Blue's what? clues. I hate that. Fuck's sake. Blue's clues. Is his name Ruse Moves, or is it all a ruse? This conversation is starting to make me snooze. What? <laughs> oh, if you don't rhyme, you lose. 
I all right. Just fucking hate I'm you just, all. I'm just gonna move over here. All right, I'm, I'm, just, just, <laughs> I'm just gonna start sharpening my spear, which is like a whetstone, and just chilling in the back of the cart now. I'm bored. Uh, you eventually, made me always think rhymes with just a stone. Um, the initial, <laughs> initial paranoia of, of you know, learning and about the this goes. whole like order that apparently exists, and apparently you're out to get uh, a Lazarin. Um, the sun begins to go down. You do arrive at, at a, a, a place uh, resembling a bit of a camping site. You can see the remains of um, fires and um, like some like left behind bedrolls that seem to have been broken or which just weren't like people just couldn't be fucked, you know, rolling up again and fitting them back in the back because it fucking sucks. Um, I'm not frustrated at all. Um, which could, could so function as a place for you to spend the night. Does it look Jax. like any wildlife has been here? Make a perception check. Mainly wildlife made out of metal? <laughs> <laughs> Make a survival check in that case, if you're like that oh, specific. Okay. Okay, okay. Jax, I don't suppose you could set up your magical candle again. 13? Uh, 13? Yeah, I could do that. No Gorgon tracks anywhere nearby. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I could do you one better as well. Hmm. All right, so I will spend the 10 minutes to ritual cast alarm around the campsite, mm. hanging up my tin cans. Mm -hmm. I think it's a 20 foot radius. Yeah, 20 foot cube. Um, And then out of my bag, I'm going to pull out Jeeves. Oh, a little, you know? little homunculus guy. And I'll put in his little emerald and power him up. Uh, I could set up Jeeves to do a little perimeter search throughout the night. What, the what is that? It's my servant. What can he do? That is fascinating. Pulls up character sheet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> am I right in thinking that Jack showed Brooks this? In I'm the, pretty sure I showed the whole party, actually. I yeah, I think that we've, one. Seen this. we've seen it once. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it once, but it's very much I like... I don't have to do anything with it, but you know. Yeah, it kind of happened, and that was it. <laughs> well, um, he is quite stealthy um more so than myself that's and, not a very high bar uh, it doesn't require sleep or anything to keep running Ooh. and he understands every language i speak of course uh, wouldn't how many some... how many do you speak uh three which ones uh common under common and vidalkin oh under cool common. i know under common although my vidalkin is a little rusty it's been 250 oh, years since i spoke it last it must be strange to live that long. It's different. You see people come and go in a weird way. Hmm. If you I will just speak out in Undercommon. Wait, how many of us know Undercommon then? <laughs> Uh, I, do. I, I raise my hand. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> is Undercommon just like very common nowadays? <laughs> is it now just common? No, I was just like, it's, 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 back in day, it's, common. Very widely it's the second most common language in the realms. It's That's just like, Undercommon. It's just, it's, fuck you. You can shut the fuck oh up. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good, but you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, In Halfling, I'll just say. Yo, any halflingers? <laughs> Silence. Halflings are wild language. Uh, what language is that? Halfling. Mm. I, I, had to, I had to take two foreign languages when I was uh, growing up. So I took Sylvan and Halfling. I, I don't know. They're very different from each other. <laughs> Didn't help one another. Or, you know, you, you can you learn like, oh, yeah. Elvish and Halfling. You know, one sort of informs the other a little bit. Halfling is, uh, wait, did I just say Elvish and Halfling? You did just you say did. Elvish. You meant Sylvan and Elvish Sylvan. and Sylvan. Yes. 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 But uh, Sylvan and Halfling, nothing in common. No, yeah. No. should try I'll learning speak deep. and speak common. It's not that. Why, That's why very, the fuck would you uh... need to speak three languages? I mean, I speak four. I mean, I why? speak five. I, I hold I, up three fingers. I, I you don't speak any, you don't count. I technically speak cross four. fingers and look mad. <laughs> I'll speak. I, what do you I mean? Technically. Well, I mean, Warvish. I know sign language. 
Elvish Halfling oh, and Silver. Oh, yeah, then four. I, I, like, when Kessa's out, I just go, oh, yeah, and hold up four. I mean, I speak, I speak common, deep, Elvish, and undercommon. Uh, common, undercommon, Elvish, and, um, Sandwich. Oh, or can speak I deep as well. I taught <laughs> <laughs> myself a bicel. Oh. I'm gonna see if anyone. That's I just like, cool. I just put my arm in front of my face, like you know when kids pretend they're an elephant, like miming a trunk, and I mm. do that and see if anyone understands. No, I'm just gonna, just check I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sign, just like yeah, tell me <laughs> what you were trying to do that. It's like my my other language is Loxodon I see. sign language. I'll believe it when oh. I hear it. Glare. Glare. It makes elephant noises. I don't know. Ele elephant noises? Do you really need elephant to... sign? You need vocal cords? Could you like make it with your lips? I don't know. I just sign. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say speak. I should say understand languages. But I mean, you can tell tell me what they're saying so you understand it, and everyone else can understand it, which is quite useful. Oh, I forgot about one other thing Jeeves can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll have him use his force strike attack and just a little missile like the ones I do shoots out of the top of him. And the that is oh, adorable. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when Thorn uses his bow. Next well, it's happens. actually better than when Thorn uses his bow, but, you know. Oi. Well, that's because he hasn't shot me yet. I mean, would you like to fight Jeebs or Thorn? I don't know. Thorn shot that one guy and he that passed seems... straight out. Thorn kind of like sizes up <laughs> Jeebs. <laughs> No, I think I'm good. They're about the same size, I think, too. I think I'm alright. <laughs> oh, I got a on it. They've been so good. That's what I'm saying. Mm. We could have had, like, a, a cockfight. Oh, a what now? Keep that in your, keep it in your pants, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it's when you take... Oh, never mind. I fight dogs. <laughs> you, you, you never fight, take a fight to them fight each other. You just, you just attack dogs? No. I'd bet money on the dogs. To be why would you? Why would you just attack animals? a dog? No, I don't. That's, it was a, that's weird. Why? Like dog so fight. Uh, he yeah. goes into an alley. He's like, "Oh, fucking come on, you motherfucker!" Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> this pugs only really out here, just boxing fucking pugs. Yeah. He's yet to win, though. Yes, oh, that doesn't okay. surprise me. I am on a. I just. I. I get distracted. And I have. I pet them instead, and it turns out that's cheating. I. So, you know. I have to think that they are not receptive to your attention after you have tried to punch them in the face. I mean, I, that seems like a I cool way to start off I mean, the conversation. I don't punch him in the face. It is <laughs> something that nobles do. They just duel dogs. Why? <laughs> nobles watch people fight a lot of things, to be fair. Guard, I have brought my Wiener Schnitzel. They <laughs> watch dogs what? fight other dogs. Yo, and, what? You know, you know what? I heard there were. It's really not so dog. much a big pastime anymore, but there was robot <laughs> fighting. Now that. Now that was good. <laughs> And that was a oh, good pastime. Fight. That seems yes. better than dog fighting since it's Yes, not... people would bring these big machinations they built, you know, these inventors, and then they'd get them to fight one another with, like, big axes and stuff. It, it was very cool. I just look expectantly at Jax. I can't make anything like that. Why not? Jax, you would have been right I'm up your alley. money or time. Oh, it was, it was super expensive. It was, I, I must admit. That's, that's, it's okay, probably that's tens enough. of thousands or hundreds of thousands of gold. <laughs> you're not made. You're not made of money. <laughs> no, that was the Lazarus. He's the one that worships the deity of money. Uh, yeah, you've, been around, for long, you've been around for a long time, so I thought maybe you'd have a small. No, yeah, well, you, you, you might know. have some he savings. Only, he only has old currency. It's no longer used anymore. Uh, my fortune has been wiped very quickly. Well, has the currency what? changed in the last two hundred years? Well, that was a shipwreck, so most of it went down with that. I oh. hope people used to use Electrum at one point. <laughs> God. Uh, no one uses that antiquated currency. Mm. I don't even know what that Jax is. goes into his pocket, it's just all Electrum, like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Has that Wait, one drawer in his collection. house? What? what? I don't even house, know what that is. Oh, okay. Here's a bag of paperweights, and he just throws a huge <laughs> stack of Electrum onto the fucking car. <laughs> It's like when uh, when countries swapped to like whatever currency they had to the euro, and you had like a specific window of yeah. time to like get all the money exchanged. And yeah. Jax missed that exchange from electrum oh. to gold, and he just stuck <laughs> with a bunch of electrum now. It's that drawer in the house that just has loads of. I'm just sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> that is no, it's like that drawer in the house that has loads of rag. Never swapped to euros. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just loads of random like foreign currencies to draw you like ah oh, I'll spend fuck up. I'll spend two hundred <laughs> yen somewhere. Sure. So you just got like a ten euro note from that one time. Yeah, you went exactly. To, yeah. One time you went to Germany and like <laughs> one Jamaican dollar. Like what? Yeah. Nice. I have one of those. Right. I have um, one of those. So, <laughs> um, so you've cast you've cast alarm. Yep. You you whipped out. Set jeeps to roam the perimeter about maybe thirty feet out from the alarm in like a circle for the day. Okay. Yeah, we were doing things. Um, <laughs> yeah, is anyone keeping watch? Or do you trust I'm... the alarm spell enough to say you don't oh, need it? I do not trust I'm... the alarm I think we should keep watch anyway. I'm going to assign to Kess that I want, we should take watch together so we can uh, have a chat with Elsinil. Mm, that's true. We should do that. I'll just stay. Um, so I'll just turn around and be like, if you need me to keep watch, just wake me up and let me know when. And I'll find a tree that looks comfortable. <laughs> tree found a tree. Exactly. Oxymoron. I'll take watch <laughs> wherever and whenever. Just let me know. Same side. I'll take first watch. Okay. I'll just leave it to Kess to decide when we watch. I will, before we uh, go to bed, let me just double check a reading on this. Yeah, I will just tap Brooks on the shoulder and give him vision the blessing. Because it lasts forever. Until it's forever. <laughs> forever! Literally, literally, you give one creature you touch forever. advantage to the next niche of roll the creature makes. This benefit ends immediately after the roll. <laughs> <laughs> or if you use the feature again. So just kind of forever until we roll this. Yeah. Brooks, you got advantage. <laughs> Rather than us getting to a combat and someone's like, yo, who has vision and blessing? And you're like, yeah. yeah. Brooks, Fuck. it's on you. No one. Yeah, Brooks, yeah. it's on you. <laughs> All right, so we got first watch Davian. Who's second watch? Yeah. I'll do second watch. Okay. Second watch Jax. Third? Um, Me and Dagon. Okay. I'll do last then. And Koiba. Or the last last fourth. That was I don't know. Oh, yeah. Side gets, Sai gets to sleep. Side gets to sleep. Lazarin will never take watch on his own now. <laughs> no. All right. So before with that, we. Before, before everyone goes to bed, dead. I'm going to ask Lazarin for the uh, dark. Oh, yes. Of course, and I will give him eyes and night. Okay. We'll go to bed. Mm-hmm. So, everybody um, goes night night, uh, I'm assuming. Except for mm-hmm. Davian? I mean, before I go uh, to sleep, I want to talk to Blue, but. Okay. Um, sure. We'll do that first then. Uh, okay. You and. Uh, I'm assuming everyone like pitched their tents and shit, right? Because that's I been the. Pissed for a second. I feel yeah. pissed as Pitched well. <laughs> their tents. Because uh, that's that's what you guys have done every time so far. So I'm assuming that it's just kind of. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm pitching my. Them. I'm pitching my tree. Nice. <laughs> <Good one. clears throat> I I pitched the tent, but I'm not going to sleep in it. Okay. Fair. Um, I'll sleep in it. <laughs> so while uh, Davian is doing the watch, um, Kess, you and Daigon hop in the tent. I'm assuming you wait for Daigon to pass out. Yep. Before you I pop fall into asleep your pretty quickly, vessel. like a cat. And now uh, I, I yeah, we'd like everybody to deafen then in that case. Fuck off. Bitch. So you pop in your vessel, what do you do? Yep. Uh blue. Uh and this like blue cloud kind of swirls almost in like a the form of a tornado, and when that all dissipates, <clears throat> blue uh appears in front of you. What's going on? Um, Davian had a question he wanted me to ask you. He was doing research about Kasuth and found um, a name for a djinn at, in the same book, and he wanted to know if it was you, the name being Resmu, or however <laughs> it's actually said. Just not that I care or anything, but is it just Resmu? I feel like there should be something... It was, he just told me Rasmu, but I don't know if there was an extra bit he forgot to tell me. I hope there is. Okay, I will ask him. Guilty as charged? Why? I don't know. He seemed to think it was weird that I didn't know. (laughs) Um, well, you never really did ask. It never really crossed my mind. You're a bit selfish sometimes, you know, it's always about you, you, you. 
That is so mean. But true. <laughs> That's why it's mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Is that it? Or is there anything Yeah, else? that's pretty much it. I don't wow. think so. I'm, I pissed off. Hey, Blue, where have you been today? Uh, I've been all right, Cass. Thanks for asking. No, it's just, just that. All right. I'll go a little fuck off again then, I guess. No, how have you been? Have you been doing anything? Uh, it's not genuine anymore now. You can go fuck yourself. No, honestly. I am interested. Uh, yeah, it's been all right. You know, had a um, had a visitor today and, um, you know, did our thing. Um, I don't really want to talk about my day, to be honest. Um, anyway. Anything you need before I... Good dad? Uh, you can mess with Davian if you wanted to. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's up to you. I'll have a think about it. Okay. Alright. Good night. Night. He, uh, disappears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Buongiorno. You'll be murdered. Buongiorno. All right, uh, Davian. Mm. It's your watch. Uh, make a perception I... check, please. First thing I want to do: How far from the road is the camp? Uh, about sixty feet. I want to walk to the road. And I want to take a good long look yes, down that road. Uh, okay. Actually, no one's following us. I'm assuming you like step over the, you know, the. Uh... Oh, actually, alarm doesn't affect you because you're 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 friendly to jets, yeah. right? That's how that I works. I can yeah. obviously I'll have to get through the tin but cans anyway. Like, step over the actual tin cans and stuff. stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, Do a little duck and bob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a perception check. You have the 300 foot, 300 feet, right? Dark vision. 300 yeah. feet for the first hour. 300 feet. Fucking hell. 2024. 20, it's my natural. Coast is clear, as far as you can tell. Um, is it like thickly wooded, or are we just off the road? Uh, <clears throat> just like a, a little campsite in the in a like on the flatlands. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, you're off the road. It's it's, yeah. it's flat. Uh, it's just like a little place that I people have used as a campsite before. There was like rem remnants of a past like fireplace and. So it's Some, not like uh, super obscured or anything. Yeah. I have a decent look. I can look yeah, around. It's uh, it's fairly open. I want to send Oni up to just do a little sort of surveillance, and yeah. I guess in the time that I'm on watch, because uh, Oni has dark vision. In the time that I'm on watch, sort of send him basically thirty minutes out. And then fly 30 minutes back the way that we came and just uh i'll use i'll use my charge of speak with animals at some point to just you know see if he saw anything uh, uh, make a check that, for Onu, as he's oh, kind yeah. of going off in different directions uh i always dude i you you always say like oh it'll say if he's proficient right mm-hmm mm -hmm. But, like, there's no tab for it, so I'm always like, is he proficient? <clears throat> oh, natural 20. Okay. I guess that doesn't matter. <clears throat> it doesn't matter yep. now. Um, Odo flies out um, in, in different directions. Um, I mean, there's not much that really uh, is cause for alarm. Um, about 30 mm -hmm. minutes... In the direction you came from, there seems to be like another uh, another uh, cart that also, like, as your watch goes on, kind of like passes your camp, and the the driver kind of like Onu alerts you of that cart, and then the drive as when the time comes and it passes by, the driver kind of gives you a nod and wishes you a good night, and he keeps going. Um, it seems like a pretty quiet night. Uh. When, yeah, well, I guess when it comes to the end of my watch, I will, uh, I'll give Jax and Sai both a nudge. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just sort of give, give them both a little, a little, little kick. Just nothing, no, nothing much going on, but, uh, figured Sai might be a little more used to keeping watch of the surrounding. No offense, Jax. I've been keeping watch for 250 years! 
I just. <laughs> you don't see nothing. With watch skills. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to feel the hatred of 250 years. <laughs> um, Dutch, should I also yeah. roll a perception check for Jeebs for the night as well? Sure. Okay. I just, I, I'm gonna lay my bedroll like close to the edge, or like maybe just yeah, very close to the edge of the perimeter of the alarm. Okay. And I'm just going to lay on top of my bedroll with like. A fucking short sword, like <laughs> clutched, just okay. like fucked dead flat. I've got the alert feet, all right, so no one's fucking sneaking up <laughs> on, my, on my fucking camp. Okay, fair enough. What does the alert, alert feet work if we if we get him really really drunk? Like, <laughs> how much alcohol does he have uh, to drink before it doesn't to work nullify anymore? the alert? <laughs> yeah. There's only one way to find out. True. You gotta try. It's true. Constitution save. Is... I, uh, uh, if Sai is also, if Sai is gonna stay awake for this watch, then I would like both of y'all to roll a perception check. Yeah, so I'll stay so awake. it's a thirteen for Jeebs and a ten for me. Okay. It's a, a woke up dirty style. a dirty twenty for me. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> All right. Um, as your watch kind of goes by, uh, it's a a very flat landscape, so you can see pretty far. Um, or at least, I'm not you can see before it's dark, but um, there's no real like ways people or creatures could really sneak up on you because your campsite's so out in the open. Um, you hear the sound of, of some wildlife, um, like in the distance, but there, there, nothing that really is cause for any alarm. Okay. Anything you guys wish to do or discuss during your watch, or are you just kind of biding time away? So, um... I'll just turn to... Uh... Jax. I've remembered. Ha! <laughs> 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 and, um... So you've been alive for a long time, then. Have you... Uh, some would say too long. Mm. Mood. I guess it's all a matter of perspective. But I wanted to ask you, have you at all heard of, of Malek? Ha have I heard of Malek, DM? The, the demon I've been chasing. I am proficient in history, if that helps. Make a history check. That one incoming. <laughs> Please no. That's cocked. Not in that one. Uh, plus six, so 22. Wow. You have heard tales of people committing these heinous acts, whether it would be murder or... Uh, like skinning people alive these, these heinous acts of yeah. killing people in very gruesome ways and then claiming that they were possessed and it wasn't them and and the name Malak comes up a lot in, in those stories um you that's yeah you've heard the name definitely I don't want to have heard of it um I've heard the most stories. recent time you've heard the name Given where you've been, it's probably before you came to the continent. And actually, no, not in your case, because you've been on the continent for a long time. Never mind. Uh, would probably have been, let's say, like, like maybe 40 or 50 years ago. It's been a while. Okay. Um, I've heard tales, but nothing in recent memory. Sai's eyes just even instantly go kind of wide. Hey, I've been searching for. I don't even know how I lost count of the years now. For the 50 years, nothing. Not one single clue. Uh, well, I'd imagine it's pretty hard to catch a demon, right? Mm. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just yeah. size. Size, size. Size, size. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm not even sure how you'd really go about it, you know? Like, how do you yeah, catch I've... something that is other planar, really? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. 
I need to I need to find something or maybe I'll just never find out. Well Maybe this Malik's connected to the arsonist. No? Mm, I mean the last I time I heard people would like skin other people for Malik or he was involved. Okay. But what if he's driving this Lord Farcroc? I mean, that would be a pretty insane coincidence, but anything is possible. I mean, it is pretty heinous to burn people alive, I think. Mm, that is true. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe at some point I'll find something before, yeah. I, uh, before I die. Well, uh, if we don't find anything before we part ways, I'll keep an ear out and if I get information, I'll send it to you. I appreciate that. Okay. Did you... You lost your family? Mm. To him? Yes, it is my... You know, my second... It was my first family. Because... I was never very close to my true parents and things like that. So I made up a, a group in the woods and we lived together... I, it was, it was our own little utopia, and one day, I woke up to carnage. And ever since, it's just been a endless journey of me searching, with no success. You've traveled, quite a bit. Yes. Mm, yes. Have you come across any? Giant mechanical manifestations. Have I come across giant mechanical manifestations? Or heard of giant mm. mechanical manifestations? Uh, make a history check. Please roll okay. good. I'm not very Please. good at history. I'm sorry. You can <laughs> do it. Try. I believe. I'm going to try. Here we go. 16 plus 1, 17. Oh. Um... I'm gonna say no. Damn it. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I've not heard of what are they like? What is the uh, the robot that the uh, Elazrin uh, was talking about? Uh, but uh, maybe I haven't really ever heard of these or seen these robots that he talks mm. about. Mm. But it no, could I've be something not, uh, similar. I've not heard, I've not heard anything of, of this sort. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. All right. And with that, uh, your watch goes by. Who do you wake up? Uh, Cass and Dyke and Ray. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I will yeah, I'll head back. I'll head back to my tree. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, Cass, Dagon. <clears throat> As you're, uh, you know, you're, you're doing your watch. Can I get some perception checks, please? Do we, do we want to talk to Elsinel before we watch, or are we gonna do the like wake up, do a check, and then talk to her? Cass, do we think do we preference? You're muted. You're muted, though. I forgot. Yeah, do a check. <laughs> okay, check first. Okay. Check first. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's good. That's dirty twenty. Twenty one. Haha. Okay. <laughs> -ha. Coast seems clear. Alarm has not nice. been triggered, it seems. Uh, you hear the small, like, of the, of the oh, little geez. robot, uh, the little, little, little machine patrolling around the area. Other than that, it seems pretty, uh, seems pretty clear. Um, all right. So just starting now, assume everything going forward is said in sign language, from my end at least, so I don't just say it every time. Um, any ideas on how we get her attention if we can? Um, I mean, how, 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 before we were just talking about her and she That's showed true. up, I, I'm not really sure. Also, even when she shows up, we should ask if she understands sign language because Jack said his robot knows all the languages he knows. So if we want to make sure Jeebs doesn't hear or doesn't know what we're saying, keep it to hand talk. That's true. That's a good idea. Smart. 
Anyways, I'm just Damn gonna, it. I, I, I'm gonna <laughs> be like, fuck. and so I'm gonna be like, well, I would just start screaming Elsadil into the void, but I can't, and I also not sure if you should do that, because then the robot will tell him who we're talking to, and they might not have a high opinion of her. Um, um it would be really great if someone who maybe is called. <laughs> Something that rhymes with Kelsnanil just showed up right now. That would be really useful. I I really hope that that happens. Yo, pull out your Ouija board real quick. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm like, let's see. She's we know what she is kind of the god of. I was like, oh, could we maybe if we do something like in tribute to her, and then I'm just gonna be like. Um, and, and then I pull out the itching powder. I'm like, <laughs> that's if we that use this on someone look. in her name, will she? That would never look. Maybe not Brooks, because I kind of pissed him off. Yeah, no, you're, he's already pissing you. Um, um who, who do we? I feel bad picking on the new guy. I don't want to do it to no, Sai. I like mean. I like Sai. I don't want to do it to Sai. <laughs> he's up Maybe in a tree too. It's hard. A Lazarin, and then we can just say that it was <laughs> the people who want to kill him. <laughs> or just, or just we're mad because he didn't tell us before. So. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's I'm not like going for a that fucking work. mile off. I would, I would, I was going to say Davian, but Blue is kind of pissed at him right now. So oh, that's, uh, that's I feel good. like itching powder on top of that might be a bad idea. So. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Does Jeebs overhear this? We're still in sign language. Oh, sign. Yeah, we're in sign language, Midman. Oh. <laughs> My dude. <laughs> he will. I will say. I'll, I'll say. All right. Do you want to distract the robot while I do this? Because if he sees, he might also tell on us. Or where is he right now? Is he out patrolling? He's like is walking he... like uh, outside of the alarm perimeter, right? Um, actually, is he floating? looking at us though? Is his back? He's floating. Sorry, but he's, he's patrolling. Floating? He's patrolling outside of the alarm perimeter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like fifteen, thirty feet ish. Okay, then. So he's, he's, he's I'm just away. gonna hope I mean, he's not we, looking. We can probably stealth it. I could yeah, make I can, it. I could be pretty anyway. quiet. I can yeah, you be can. Pretty quiet. You're, you're pretty. You're pretty quiet. So I'm gonna just take and like you know cat like make sure I don't step on any what? any twigs stealth, or leaves so that would crack. Go over to a Lazarus sleeping bag. Oh, Davian's about oh, to wake baby. up and just. Uh, Twenty-two. <laughs> In a tent. Twenty-two. You... Uh, Lazarin, you don't wake up. Like, the past your past perception right. is nowhere near high enough to hear oh. Diagon, like, sneak in. So uh, I'm well, just gonna sprinkle check it. check for Jeeps. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, okay. And the one I'm doing, tasked. I'm not gonna, like, unroll the sleeping bag or the bedroll, because that's more... I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it around what's exposed, so, like, shoulders, neck, ha hair, you know, and just sprinkle I... a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> also gonna make, I'm gonna mine a illusion so it sounds like there are leaves rustling in the opposite direction and hope that that catches nice. the robot's attention. The robot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that is a 22. 22. Um, I'm gonna give it a disadvantage because at the same time, Kes is doing a lot of like, mine illusions yeah. to try and distract him. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't care. I mean, I rolled 22 for stealth, so... Damn, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, the like rustling of the leaves that sounds definitely catches Jeeb's attention, and he kind of stops his patrol and, and or its patrol, I guess, and, and looks. Um. Meanwhile, so yeah, while, I mean, itching powder deployed. It, while I yep. do it, I just think really hard. Like Elsadil, this is for you. I hope you like this funny prank, cause we could really like we'd really like a chat right now. So and just like think <laughs> real hard. <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> uh, after you're done with that, do you just return to the fire, or like what do you do? Yep, yeah. return to the fire and wait, and then just wait for a few minutes, and then if nothing happens, I'm just like sign again in sign language to kiss while I'm out of ideas. Um, um I would like everyone else to deafen. Hey. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream. You hear work. like a voice come out of come out of like you know like a disembodied voice just kind of like hovering around you. Am I truly bad for having been here for the past fifteen <laughs> minutes and not? I have to, to say... reveal myself until you finished what you were doing. I was just wondering how creative you you would be. You would get, but um. 
Hello. I, 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 I'm kind and of. And she like kind of like a happening. swirl of leaves uh, from like a nearby from nearby. Just like the leaves swirl up and kind of like in a, like a little, little like cyclone, and as the, the leaves fall down, there's like this green cloak, uh, arch green cloak arch fay, long yeah. pointy eyebrows, long pointy ears, very very long fingers and nails, and kind of just like sits cross legged. Hello. Hey. This is out, out of character question. Remind me. She knows because she knows sign language because I've used mm -hmm. it before and she's answered me right. Okay. Yes. Then. Yeah. We're talking uh, in sign language. <laughs> No, I'm I'm gonna sign to her. We're gonna keep this. At least, obviously, I will. But Kess also will keep her end in sign language because we might be being watched by that little guy over there, and like gesture towards the direction the robot. That little guy is not going to tell its owner about the fact that there's an arch face suddenly chilling in your camp. He'll be gone for a minute. It, it's it. He doesn't need to know. Like it doesn't matter if he knows that bit. It matters what he hears. Yeah. Because apparently he understands language. But only the languages of right. our friends over there. And we already checked and he doesn't know sign language. Right. Okay. Wait, so, does, what's going on? Does the... How are my little, my little, my little miscreants doing today? <laughs> Not too bad. Good. Not gonna yeah. lie. Um, mm. <laughs> uh, Sick uh, genie on <laughs> Davian. That was fun. I, I am intrigued to hear more about that part. Yeah, um, that's been fun. <laughs> we, we just wanted to ask you if you knew anything about an organization called the Nightwebs, yes. and if they've infiltrated the Crimson Lotus as well. Um, I'm a weird, uh, well, I know of them. Um, hmm. I know how to identify them, and I know that as the Lotus has not been infiltrated. Oh, okay, that's good. That is good. Sigh of relief. It's on the checklist. When we vet new members, we make sure that they don't have ah. a tattoo. No one checked. Guess well, the tattoos. I, yes, I don't we did. wear. I don't wear any sleeves, really. We did. I mean, I don't. So, but, oh. and, and and they're kind of see through. Oh, Sweethearts, <laughs> you slept in a tavern owned by us. Do you not think we can get you to your rooms and make sure to ch make sure to double check when you're asleep? Oh, that's well, awkward. I mean, oh, uncomfy I, with that, but okay, fair. <laughs> a little bit. You just checked your shoulder, nothing else. Don't worry. I mean, I did it. Did it myself. But oh. okay, mm -hmm. well, that's very positive news. The the not infiltrated part happy to hear but and you have no maybe insights on how to find or you on any names of any more important members it seems like they're after our friend over there we just the one we need to know who to avoid oh yeah the one well, we the one introduced the one gonna to be you itchy. now yeah <laughs> the itchy one hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um well no not really no thing is I don't really care. Yeah, we we figured right. it was more just you have. I keep busy power with and scope. the organization we... that's that you know you guys, and make sure that you all are safe and and are doing you know the good work. And as long as the existence of all the organizations doesn't threaten my own, I couldn't really give a toss. I'm honest. That's a fair. That's what I thought. Just in case. You know, it's uh, you know, I I, tr I try to stay in my lane, as they say. Okay. Well, we appreciate what you did tell us. It's, that's very good to know. And and waiting until we'd done the itching powder before you actually showed up. That was, that <laughs> yeah, was, that was fun. funny. As soon as you were, talked about me, I I, I, I heard and uh, then I was like... Oh, just like Blue. That you, were, you were discussing, you know, ways to summon me and I got detained, <laughs> so I figured I'd just, you know, have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. He is going okay. to be very upset when he wakes up. Nah, he doesn't know it was us. He is going to be very upset. Doesn't matter who it did, he's going to be pissed because that itching powder well, is... Oh, well, that's why I did it. That's why I did it. It's pretty hard to argue with someone who won't argue back. And they're already... Well, some of them were mad at Kess already, so I figured... Mm. Wait, others than Brooks were mad at me? Oh. I thought they were just... Kess, you have the very... 
interesting ability to just piss people off by being yourself. And honestly, I know the feeling. <laughs> Wear it with stripe. It is quite fun. Hmm. Well, I guess I we should get back it. to a watch because the robot will be back soon. All right. Good night. And, Thank you. Um, luck out there. Thank you. And uh, she'll she'll get up and um, <clears throat> sat behind you. I'm not falling for that. And like from behind you, you'll hear this like. Nope. Nope. But, but, mm -mm. um, sure. Can I? I want to. I want to sniff the air. Do I smell any sort of predators or anything that would make that noise? Make a make a perception check. Nope. Ten. I. It's a. There is a scent that you don't recognize. I Come like my you. my ears. My ears twitch and kind of do the flattening thing when they're mad. Like I really want to turn around, but I'm gonna be like, nope. Mm -mm. To yourself, and she'll just kind of like walk away. Guess I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn, turn around. around. <laughs> you turn around. Yeah. She She's will be right. Away. She will be right behind you. <laughs> just in case. But you went to look. I, mean, I did it. Though. I'm. I'm too curious. One of us has to be. Fair enough. Anyway, enough jokes. I'm Adi. And uh, she'll uh, just kind of clap her hands, and as she claps, she just poof, just is like powder, just like powdery dust, she just appears, and she's before gone. before we tell them to undeafen, because now we're back inside, I'm going to be like, so why why is why did you sick blue on Devian? Just curious, no judgment. I thought it would be quite fun. And by <laughs> how far are we going to go with this? Is it is it like itching powder? Like haha, mess with Devian? I mean, you kind of need he... him if we're going to fight. He asked me, people. he asked me how he could mess with him, and I said it was up to him. Oh, okay. But he knows Kasu. Why did he so... want to mess with him? Is he just, does he not like that he has the tear? Well, no. Blue is pretty chill. He, he's very relaxed. He doesn't really care. Um, I saw an opening and took it. Um, he was a little bit annoyed that he, Apparently, there's a part of his name that Davian missed out when when he told me his name. So I thought, that's prime opportunity. Oh, <laughs> Davian didn't tell you part of his name. Yeah, exactly. Was, okay. So Blue was a little bit annoyed, but he would he didn't want to. I was just like, you could mess with him if you wanted to. Uh, he didn't ask okay. me. I, w I just kind of gave him an opportunity. All right. I'm not going to ask for the name, because plausible deniability, we're both in enough shit tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good to know. You don't know anything about prepared. this. No, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I mean, I am going to give Davian a heads up just because, like, increasing oh, his well, paranoia. Nice yeah, I think increasing his paranoia will add to it and make it well, And fun. you can you can make it like, like, you, like you've learned. Be like, well, there was all this exactly. talk about me snooping and keeping secrets, so I figured I should tell you, and they'll be exactly. like, oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm repairing things that I've already destroyed a little bit. Yep. Alright, well, everything's fine. back to paying attention. I think I hear the robot. Yes. Back to watch. Everyone can undeafen now. <laughs> <clears throat> We could. Oh no, right. Soko. Too bad for Soko. He just gets to stay. <laughs> Let's just go and see how long it takes. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you know, we'll see how long it takes. Um, so you guys <laughs> end your watch. Would you wake up? Uh, Brooks and I. Uh, last one. All right. God, I don't know what's happened to me last night, but you are very itchy. <laughs> oh, I think I've been bitten by something. Fucking mosquitoes or something in here. Oh. I'm gonna stay up as well, like outside. Okay. Oh. Right, that I'm gonna go back to bed. All right. Lazarin, okay, Brooks. Uh, it's time for your watch. Can I get a perception check, please? Can yeah, I get a perception check, please? A 17. 17. Mine won't be that good. It's a 9. Hmm. Um. Sun's slowly starting to 
to rise already, lighting up um, the area a wee bit as your as your watch progresses. Um, it's a pretty chill night, early morning. Some carts kind of travel by your camp and give you a bit of a, a bit of a nod as they as they pass by. Morning. Um, other than that, not much. Lazarin, you are very itchy. Your scalp is, and your shoulders are just yeah, so no, itchy. I know. I, I'm not going to actually scratch them because... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Lazarin is itching, scratching away. It's just there like, God, I do, these bloody... My scared or something. Must have been me. God, I just... I don't feel anything. It must have just been you. Well, that's why it's just bit me, not bit us. Yeah. Um, Wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, probably just... I don't know, probably just put on a nest or something. Didn't check the mm. ground properly. I blame Davian for that one. Go. Yeah, you should. Yeah. It absolutely sounds someone. like it's Davian's fault. He's the one who's supposed to know these things. He's the one who stays outside all the time, right? I was joking, but sure. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Fair enough. You've upset one of your ancestors or some shit like that. <laughs> I hope not. not. Um, how, where, where's, is Kesh just like vibing outside or is she like with us, like by where the campfire is? I'm by the campfire. I'm just vibing. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> hey Brooks, I, will... I had a question. I didn't realize curses that invoke the fair folk were so common outside of the Feywild. I've only ever heard about them. In my father's books. Sounds well, like statement rather than a question, but yeah. But my question is, how is that? Is it more common, or did you just know that one? I mean, it's fairly common to where I'm from. It's something I picked up from my dad. Hmm. You have to say it though. Mm. Britain still has a fair amount of power in it. Not according to my father's books. Your father's books that you don't have any copies of. No, I left them at home. To... I didn't want to risk damaging them when I was traveling. Well, read them enough anyway. Fey curses have been around for a long time. That's true. I guess maybe some of the truths of the stories get twisted when they make their way to the material plane. <clears throat> That's sure good. Okay. I'll um just for a little wait for a little bit. I'll see if there's like a moment, mate, and I'll kind of I'll look at Brooks. <laughs> just so I don't know how best to put this. But, um, undead or hellspawn? I'll look at him and just go. Your ancestry, or what are you? Tactless lord, do you think? That's kind of yes. rude. I know, but you don't I get couldn't... to talk about that. Don't. I couldn't. <laughs> I I think I did front the question with I apologize, <laughs> and I don't know how to put this. I mean, you're the only person in the group really that's bothered to ask. So I'm I sorry, asked... I asked in such a way. You didn't really ask. You called me a fucking pet, so. <laughs> That was a misunderstanding. Mm. I didn't actually mean to offend you. I've noticed you have a bit I'm, of a... I'm noticing a lot of things you do don't have that intention, and yet, here we are. Yeah, someone said a very similar thing earlier tonight. In fact, two people did. It was really Maybe mean. Maybe they're right. They are right. That's why I was mean. <laughs> we just stretched off topic. Yes. So, I've, I've noticed you have, have a... Dislikening to that of which is holy, and amongst other things. 
I'm sure, Cleric, you can do magic shit. You should know that I'm not undead. True. But it's always worth asking. I've, though many gods oppose it, and it is unnatural, there are some good undead. One of mine opposes it. Yes, most okay. most of the better deities do. <laughs> most of the the goodly aligned deities do, but not all is. There have been stories of those that are good, that are okay, that are good, that do well. So I assume you've got devil ancestry, or yes, the last one you can be blunt. <laughs> I'm tiefling. I'm tiefling. I never claimed not, not all. to be a tiefling. I'm not he, calling he you a liar lie. for saying. I'm not. I'm not uh, suggesting you've lied to me in any way. It's an interesting note. Would have been nice to know, so it didn't cause you discomfort in the past. I never. I never lied. I just didn't throw it out there. It's true. We met. Seems under... to be missing key. Okay. I assume intentionally. Obviously, with with traveling around, we're now at the point where I understand that, for the most part, you're all, you're not all fucking awful human beings. I'm not. But at the same well. time, the the six of us were stood at a building <laughs> where someone important has just been shot from. Varies place to place, but there's some people who might cast aspersions at that fact based on me being a tiefling. Especially those, I suppose, who are well, followers of gods, I suppose. My lot. Well, I say my lot. Clerics tend to be on the more extremer side, some of them. I I've... think. Not you, obviously. No, not god, no. I've, I've never really had like a a horrible fucking experience from it, but it taints people's judgment to some ways. And I shall yeah, refrain I mean. from I shall refrain from uh, using some of my magics on you, but know that some can't be helped <laughs> in dire needs and dire situations. I hope my blessing I gave you earlier this day didn't affect it's, you too much. It's not that bad. It's a holy grounds. They're worst. I don't know the ins and outs of it because I don't really know. Like, I can't trace my fucking family tree, right? Like, it's not going to happen. Probably quite muddled. You know, I feel like that was not the way you meant it, but that was no, a bit harsh. It wasn't. But... I mean, like, that's not. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I've elaborated before that my dad's not my dad, but. But, you know, the whole. That makes it fairly difficult. Um, I don't have the whole red skin tail thing, so I imagine that's why I tend to get that feeling. When did you start falling down your horns? When I started trying to disguise myself to do shit. That's fair. Understandable. It is quite the giveaway. If you mm. have hope. Trust me, there are only so many disguises you can do with a really big wig or a hat. Eventually you run out and you have to start thinking outside the box. So... You should learn some illusion magic. As long as you're comfortable with yourself. Nah, shut up. I will look at Kess. <laughs> and I will look at the Ladrin. <laughs> and I will cast Disguise Self. And make myself look like a Lazarin. Oh, that's harrowing. I'm gonna cast Disguise Self and make myself also look like a Lazarin. I hate to I, I will be <laughs> flattering in my depiction of a Lazarin. I will, I will not be. be. Flattering. I will not be. I kind of look at the two and just go, oh, no, I like, see that. I definitely see that on my good days. But man, I hate myself. I see that on <laughs> <in> my... <sighs> Well, that's... Fantastic to know. So when I randomly have people saying I've done stuff, I know which two to look towards then. Oh no, I would just go invisible. And then you use your face if I needed anything. Oh. Well, that's good to know. I, I don't plan to upset you in the future. So therefore I have no reason to 
go around. Oh, Kess, you're face. so if you, fucked. If you Kess, use you my face, so I'm fucked. just going to use your face. Oh, that, that would be interesting. I think it's cute. Pinning the other person for crying. more in trouble than vice versa. But... I. Is that I a challenge? Like... No, because I already don't like you at this point. So, let's not. That's a fuck. Go that's a that lie. Path. That's a lie. You're just mad at me, which is fair enough. I would be interesting to set up a little betting ring over this. <laughs> there, you seem be to have an issue with problem. gambling. It's not an issue. It's a solution. When you have <laughs> what problem? You... <laughs> the problem is having too much money. Gambling's not a fair trade. I'm surprised that you deal in it. Mm. Oh, I, I. I don't gamble often, but I know people would be interested in, and it's only fair I take some of the cut of that. Um, anyone who tells you gambling's a fair trade's a fool. Oh, it's not a fair trade at all. There's always someone. There's always someone in the group running. Especially something. in casinos, and the likes, places that you just gotta fix money. it in your favor. Exactly, that's what I'm doing by setting it up and taking a cut of whatever the winnings are. Come on now. <laughs> who are you setting up to win then? Oh, I don't care with the result. I just can't oh, okay. do bets. Oh, so you want to run the gambling yeah. ring? Exactly. I didn't even know that was a thing. It will drop the illusion. I will uh, not. Thank, <laughs> thank God. Gods, I should say. You um, have to thank gods because you only really pray to one. They all exist. I'd rather not get the mirth of all of them. I'm pledged to one, but I don't want to fuck my career chances in case I, you know, <laughs> move laterally to a different company. No, it's not even like that. It's more like I'd, you know, try to not. Some deities or beings of higher power tend to be a little bit of things. Yeah, when, that's that's actually... Wouldn't Joaquin protect you as one of her chosen servants? I mean... I don't know, and I'd rather not... <laughs> yeah, so... Testing, testing one's god is okay. sinful at most. I'm, I'm not going to question this anymore because I don't want to start sounding like Jax. I... <laughs> you have been spending a lot of time around him. The teacher who, who, steal my shit. who like introduced you to people yes. in the, the web, whatever. Yeah. Um, was he also a follower of Joaquin or was it just... He, was, he had very similar abilities to me. Interesting. It is rare for people of Joaquin to be... Of my skill set, very rare. Tends to be those where I don't, I don't know, but it's a rarity. So there weren't many. So that's why he became my tutor. Hmm. He was the only one, sort of nearby, who had any sort of connection. Most tend to be forge, you know, makers and you know, or people who specialize in healing. You know, nothing. <laughs> There's no nice. kind of <laughs> religious aspect to this corrupt organization. Not inherently, but churches are places of power. And That's true. They have their sites, so they have at least uh, their influence in churches. They're not mm. uh, religious by nature. I don't know. It could be. There might be some higher power they go to but from my understanding it wasn't a religious group it was uh um political we'll say that uh as you guys are just kind of chatting yeah. and, and discussing yeah. all these things uh the rest of the group starts to wake up as well i think is Kess still a lazarin yes <laughs> <laughs> you see two just just I just just <laughs> just <laughs> one of them less flattering than the other you see two no, lazarins no no, no, no two lazarins because i'm i'm brooks yeah, yeah that's what i said two is two lazarins yeah. two yeah, um, no, I guess I one of them less flat, right? Well, um, less and see. start your morning. Have oh, some food. Ever... Get the horses ready. And unless there's anything pressing you want to do before you get on the road again. I mean, one pressing thing would be... Can... Davin, did you say there's any water nearby? Is there or something? Because bloody hell. Uh, you know, does he have, you know, like, so a rash or anything? Uh, you can definitely see that, like the the, the parts of his skin where he's been where he's been scratching, is getting very red and and sore. And oh, like, did you 
falling some poison. What happened? Something? I don't know. I think I bit by something just everywhere from my head to shoulders. Just here. Uh, did you pitch a tent in the pit of ants or something, Davian? That's what I'm. That's what I'm thought about. That's what I said. Mm, doesn't look like ants. Dav and... But Davin, but Davin didn't get thingy by it. I don't know what the fuck happened. Well, I was sleeping in the tent. But there so... seemed to be any like critters oh, was around oh, where oh, the tent was. Oh, you were. Sorry. I'm gonna. Are there any like critters around where the tent was? Yeah. In his bed roll. Um. Make a perception check. Okay. And I'm gonna sign to Kess to say to a Lazarin for me. Uh, back home, there were some people who would just get more affected by mosquitoes, and others had to do with different blood types. Guess they tasted kind of different. Maybe you just have unnaturally sweet blood, and mosquitoes got you. I will relay that. It Fantastic. might be worse. Have you got any jungle remedy left? I know we're not in the, oh, in the heart of it, but you might not be. Oh, I'll give well it the. I will, I will take one of the jungle enemies I've got and just try to take that, just to see. I you, could maybe, you could maybe... How does it last, by the way, this itching mouth? <laughs> it'll like get less and less throughout the day, pretty much. Like, okay. eventually, eventually it'll, uh, it'll, it'll wear off. Uh, um, so seven years! A natural 20 for a total of 24. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're, you're, you're Camping, there's gonna be like ants and shit like that, like in and the mosquitoes. grass. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of ants over here. It probably was just ant bites. There's little oh, fuckers. The I don't think I played them. That bite? <laughs> <laughs> I'm responsible for ant murder. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> ant genocide, dude. What the fuck? At this point, I'm gonna drop the disguise off and be like, I don't want anyone to think that that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did seven points of damage to ants. I was like, motherfucker. Ants dead. <laughs> uh, and with oh, that, you don't know if you made the save? I think you missed one. Huh? Well, I mean, I'm just going to say that save. the ants die because of the sake of the flame. <laughs> 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 Fuck up, dickhead. Don't fail that um, save. Well, mother motherfuckers. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You can, you, you could, you could wash it, I suppose. Maybe the jungle I'm, remedy will help. The, I'll f I will see if there's water nearby and just try and like I, myself I, and I can sort find away. fresh water as part of my background feature. I can always find fresh water if the environment would provide some. Like obviously yeah. in a desert, I can't magically make water. No, uh, there's there's like a little a little, little, little beak, a I little stream. Um, All right, nearby. I'll help lead a Lazarin to a stream. Feeling guilty. <laughs> oh my god, I could I could have done something that's fucking so stupid and such a waste. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fucking <laughs> I could have just created water and be like. <laughs> 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 I, mean, <laughs> I mean, how itchy is it? Uh, so does Lazarin, does he, yeah, do you yeah, I just go gonna, to that, like, little stream like, of water and... Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking dip my head in and, like, my neck at least, just trying, like, where it's... It definitely, it makes it itchy. better. It's not entirely gone, oh. but it makes it better. It makes it better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. Oh. You still get, like, every once in a while, you get, like, a... You know, but... God. Don't like when my, my clothes rub against it. It hurts a lot. It gets a bit more itchy. God. Well, you should well, stop you itchy, it's gonna get worse. Get any better. Yeah. I know, but it's so annoying. Drip down, lay down in the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> right. No it's more, thank you. Um, for the sake of brevity, um, brevity, you hop in the cart, continue your trek, and arrive at Streatham. Yay! At around uh, noon-ish, like halfway through the day, you um, oh wait, I know we arrive in a town forgot. that is very industrial. Uh, the architecture of this city or town more dwarven so instead of like the the elvish like fancy looking rooftops and whatnot this is very just square brick buildings most of the buildings one floor or perhaps a floor under the ground but ne a rare sight except for like occasional shop or or like a pub to have more than one floor above ground um you can see a lot of smoke kind of kind of coming out of chimneys towards the western side of the town um, you arrived. Uh, there's Yay. a stable by the gates. You're going to be entering from like the eastern eastern entrance to the town. Uh, there's a stable right by it. Uh, you can see people in blue sentinel uh, outfits kind of kind of nod at you and don't really stop you, but give you a nod uh, as you enter the town. Um, yeah, what do you do? Do you stable the horses? What do you do? Did did we say there were thirty one days in? In True. this month, in, yeah. yes, that's the thirty-first yes. now. Okay, thank you. Sorry. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll head, head to wherever the ho the horse and car could be stabled here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him. You gonna go what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him. Okay. And just um, you you approach like the the stable, and there's a couple of horses kind of like in a little in a little like fenced off field area, uh, with a couple of carts on the other side of the building, um, seemingly like parked, I guess. Um, and this this short dwarven man kind of walks out. Right, good, uh, good afternoon. What can I do for you? Is here to, uh, to put your horses into my capable hands and uh, watch your card for you. Do his hands look capable? <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> he doesn't have any hands. Oh, 19. <laughs> sure. He's a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> What's a dwarf? Anyway. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, two, two horses in the cart as well, if you don't mind taking all three. Probably for, I'll say, at least five days. Five days. Uh, we charge uh, two silver per horse per day, and your cart will be uh, an additional silver a day. So you're looking at five silver a day if you want to stay five days. That'll be two gold, five silver. I will uh, hand over... Two gold and five silver. Thanks very much. I'll make uh, sure they keep fed and uh, they have enough to drink. I'll, I'll make sure to, to you know brush them, maybe give them a little little little, little bath. They 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 seem like they've been traveling for a while. When's the last time you washed them? Uh, we haven't. Well, it's been well depends oh, if they were washed last year or stabled, which I don't think they were so it'll be a few weeks now all right so i'll we'll give them a wash that's fine um they're a bit easily spooked especially around open flames so just be okay. aware. i'm sure you don't go waving open flames around a barn full of hay uh, or anything like that planning but, to, but uh warning. Did something happen uh well yes uh they kind of got attacked a little bit yeah Oh, oh dear. It's um, to do with this whole, the whole arson thing that's going yeah. on, I'm sure you heard about it. Oh, right, yeah, I've, I did hear. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I mean, they're alive. I'll, I'll make sure to not uh, walk at them at night with my torch out or something, but... No, yeah, yeah. It, it's pepper things. and caramel, by the way. Um, Pepper and caramel? What a question. Right. Is there, a is there, was there a village nearby that uh, got burned? Yeah, uh, not it's too long about... Ago. Briarstown, or? Yeah, do you know if anyone from them made it here? Uh, a few of them. I, I don't know any of them personally, but I know, I know a couple of them moved into this city, and or moved into this town, rather. But, uh, but a busy, you know, there's a lot of factories, a lot of work, so a lot of, uh, a lot of people came here for opportunities to work and, and find a place to live, and they did. Oh, well, I guess, I suppose good they found a place to settle down but well anyway um hopefully take good care of them and uh of course of course when we pick them up we'll probably take some feed as well if that's right yeah it's just, just fine we'll yeah, uh, i'll know. charge you for the feed and stuff depending on uh how much you take uh whenever you come to get them yeah uh any good any good taverns around either well good places to drink and good places uh, to stay i'd say chubby dwarf pub is a pretty good one. Oh, don't suppose you own that one eh <laughs> I don't, but uh, the owner is a chubby dwarf, although don't tell her that to to her face, because she'll probably wring your neck. Not named in her honour, then. I mean, um, it is, but at the same... Uh, it's, it's, just don't, you know, don't, don't call a lady fat, you know, it's a uh, common yeah, yeah. courtesy, right? But yeah, of course, she can say it about herself, but of yeah, course... Yeah, exactly, it's one of them ones right. where, uh, you know, she can say it all she wants, but as someone else says it, oh... I think last saw they called her chubby or fat. Uh, they're still looking for him. <laughs> I'm sure he just left town. Yeah, <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> He's left a lot of things. <laughs> it wasn't me, so I, I, I can tell you. Right. Well, uh, thanks very much, and uh, see You're you welcome. in a few days. If, if we do need to extend it, I'll, I'll let you know before. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Just come by. Uh, pfft, I'm pretty much open from... So, uh, Business-wise, I'm open from, from sunrise till set, but uh, obviously I live in this house, so if it's pressing or important, just, just give it, give the door a knock and I'll... Uh, just right. try not, you know, right. nothing after midnight, though, just, you know, I like my sleep. I'll extend a gloved hand. I'm, I'm Davian, by the way. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Name's name's Brer. You might you might kiss. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Brer. Right. <laughs> B R R R A B R E R Brer Brer Is that short for something? No No It's not Alright well uh, Yeah thanks a lot And I'll just take Make my way Back towards The town I guess it's a bit of a Shithole No not at all Industrial town It's just very industrial And the um, Yes the town seems pretty much like divided in three districts. Uh, towards the west, you can see all the factories and, and just like the pluming chimneys of just mm. shit being pumped in the air of just pure like fumes and whatnot. Uh, towards the south seems to be more of the, the residential part uh, where a lot of the factory workers live and pretty much the common folk of the town did they live. And um, northeast is where the um, trade district slash shops slash inns slash whatever it is. Uh, you know, you, you, some residents some residents uh, live there as well, but mainly just shops and, and and the tavern and whatnot. And there is also a keep, which kind of is just like kind of like put slap bang in the middle of like like on the like on like the crossroads that leads to each district. There's just this big keep. Um, guarded by blue sentinels. All right. Shall we just trade to business? Yeah, we're looking for fucking elf. What's his name? Rianess. Rianess. Yes. It's just, um... um. I say before we do anything more. Break. Let's take break. 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 Cool. Break. Uh, we'll pick this up after. Thank you so much for being here, guys. We'll be back in about five to ten minutes, depending on how quick everybody gets back from their stuff. And uh, we're gonna get into, uh, I don't know, exploring Streatham a bit, I guess. New town, Yay. Pog. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. BRB. Right, what? I, I opened Twitter and that's the first Twitter. You have Jesus no Christ. authority here, Jackie Weaver. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, vi you saw that video was four minutes of boomers getting angry at each other. Boom is on Zoom. Super fucking yeah. old. What the fuck is what? <laughs> Zoom boomers. Zo zo Zoom boomers. Um, hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around to our break. As to the popular cartoon Zoomer for. Much appreciated. Um, so. Oh, how dare you? The day. It's about. It's about. It's about noonish. Uh, you just stabled your horses and you're in Streatham, a place that none of yep. you have really been before. What do you guys want to do? Mm. Oh yes. The keep. <laughs> To the keep. To the keep? Yeah, All we have right. to find that person. But none All of right, us have gang. any idea where it is. Let's split up and look for clues. <laughs> no. I mean, we will not split up after a last Oh, time. we could. Oh, is we there could a... just walk you. together and I oh. assume it's probably that big building over there. Just looks at the... It's like a big fucking fort right in the middle of town, right? Pretty much, <laughs> Actually, yeah. talking about clues, <laughs> like... uh, Blue's clues. Um, oh, God. Uh, Davian, I asked, mm. I asked Blue about his name. Um, yeah. I have good news and I have bad news. Mm. So the good news is that yeah, that is his name. Oh, his name's good actually name. blue. It's uh, in sign language. Rizmu the, <laughs> the the something. Yeah. See, you didn't tell me that additional bit at the end. I did. Oh well, that's my bad then. That's on me. <laughs> but I didn't. I said that you didn't tell me that bit to blue because oh, no. I forgot about it. And now he's kind of annoyed at you. So... Rizmu the fair. Yeah, Rizmu the fair. Okay, he so he's probably in the face of danger as a as an as a genie who uh, as part of the more peaceful sort of tribe. That leads me to the bad news is that he's probably gonna place a prank or something on you at some point. I'm gonna lean You're in trouble. I'm gonna lean close to Kes and I'm gonna reach for the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. You hear that? I, I did say it. I said Rizmo the Fair. All right. I, you chest. were there, probably. You're Just screaming yell, into a necklace. Into Why are you screaming, screaming into, into her, her titties? <laughs> what? That was invasive. How, 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 like how is that anything going to hear you from a necklace? Well, that's how. Um. Yeah, that's that's how I, I channel my magic. And right. nothing else. Oh, I'm sure he's in there somewhere. Hmm. That's where I meet him. Hmm? Wait, hmm? Wait you, you meet, meet him in your necklace? Him 
in it. <laughs> a last one says with fake shot. <laughs> The immediate shit coming out of my head. Okay. Oh, you mean that's good? That's good. Yes, you have a wild imagination. You know when I told you you should probably. Now would be a good time. I was distracted. You were very mad at me. Multiple people being very mad at me did not seem appealing. Why would we be mad at you? And okay. how the fuck do you talk to someone in your necklace? Okay, Dagon. Um, so I um, need to tell you something that I have oh, been, wow. been keeping secret for ever since I met you. Um, when I go to bed, I disappear into the vessel and sleep in there and then come out and wake up before you do. <laughs> and I do that every night. I'd have done for a year and a half. And just nod. Okay, that's fine then. See, why did you stress me out? You guys stressed me out so much. Look, I look over. I didn't stress you out at all. I just told you that you should tell her. Yeah, you stress yourself out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you guys seemed to react like it was a real big deal. Why do you keep saying like, oh, you no. guys? You haven't talked about this with me at all. Well, you I guess it isn't that important. It's the fact that you didn't tell her for a year and a half. That's a bit. And you did tell me at least. Um, I, and I, you did well, tell you me. kind of woke me and up. Me. And I had to, like, did you tell everybody? Oh no! Me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now we're all making it worse. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, to be fair, I figured it out, and then... Well, you saw me... Oh, you well, do you want a fucking it. medal? <laughs> I mean, do you have I mean... one? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Something for you. I'll pull out a fucking piece of Electrum on a string and hand it to him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fucking, fucking jokes on you. Joaquin's thing is literally fucking just like a money piece with her fucking face on it, so who's the prick now? Jokes <laughs> <laughs> on you guys, Jax actually does have a medal. He has a badge like, from WrestleArm. From drinking like, competition, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm true, like, actually. I'll look, I'll look at the Electrum piece and be like, Oh, Electrum, bloody hell, I haven't seen this for a long time. <laughs> I'll put, I'll you put really it, are old, aren't you? In, I'll put it in a bag, like, bottom of bag. I, I missed the transition day, okay? I was out on the ocean for a while and didn't think I'd make it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. That makes sense. I love how that is just canon now that what? Electrum is just dated currency that's not over. Fuck Electrum, it's a stupid like fucking Like the entirety of D&D 5e's reaction to Electra. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, how do you Point is, go inside your fucking necklace? Magic. It's really nice in there. I have, like, a bed and lots of cushions and I can control the temperature. But, like, do you and... shrink down or does it expand? Well, it's kind of like an uh, extra, like, it's like a dimension in and of itself. Oh, so it's like my bag, but you can actually breathe in it instead of suffocating yeah. after 10 minutes. Yeah, kind of. And then I can call for Blue and then he just- I have not killed me. someone inside this bag, just to be- I was, mm. uh, I, I was more thinking, Jax, has, have your nights been that boring that you've gone- <laughs> You've seen how long can I last in the bag for? And you timed it to 10 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's how I do my autoerotic asphyxiation. Some people uh, are really- You should people never people do that alone. <laughs> some people are really into that, aren't you? <laughs> Just walk, walk into Jackson's tent and he's got a bag of holding on his head, just like. Oh. <laughs> Why do you think I started sleeping in a different tent on my own? I think that works always wants a single room. No, no, just there's like there's like an hourglass. <laughs> there's an hourglass turned over. Okay, about ten minutes. <laughs> no, 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 it's the any time you send him out for a bag holding, it's slightly sticky. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's like. Uh, Jax's bag of holding. Everything that comes out is slightly sticky. Oh no. Like the worst cast item. There's a little bit of saliva on everything he pulls out. Oh. We, we broke them again. Battles, oh, dude. <laughs> so yeah, we go to the keep. This time it wasn't. Listen, me. he's been around for a long time, okay? We've got to spice things up eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Must be like a fucking dust cloud at this point. That man's out here throwing pocket sand. <laughs> Dutch has got that teacher the comfort show. I'm so time sorry, Dutch. I just see Dutch's life choices, just like flickering above his head. He's looking at the no, wall, like, what brought me here? He what, is giving, what is he, he is giving us wait, that, like, that it's your own time. Come some minutes, you know. it's, uh, it's your own time you're wasting here, guys. Fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Right. Yeah, we go to the keep. It, they, yeah, <laughs> we go to the keep. We go to the keep. You travel to the keep, which is indeed that big fuck off fort in the middle of the fucking city. 
Um, <clears throat> the keep itself um, has a wall around it. There's one gateway in and out, um, guarded by blue sentinels. Um, and as soon as you approach, they kind of like cross their spears to block the road. Shut your business. I'll, I'll have the paperwork ready as well. Oh, we are here from read through yeah, it. General Kron. Looks in order. And, uh, hands it back. Uh, captain is uh, should be in, uh, probably in his office somewhere. Just ask one of the, one of the people inside the building to uh, take you up there, and uh, he'll probably see you because he's he's been working on this particular case, I guess. Um, so uh, he'll be he'll be glad to to have uh, some helping hands. So is he just up there? Uh, just enter, enter the, the building properly and just ask one of the people in there to escort you to his office and uh, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be sorted. Thank okay. you very much. You, uh, you heard anything about the... Well, I'm, so, I'm sure you have, but the... the so, not tolls, but they're putting people out, like, miles out on the road to check people coming in and out. I don't know if you've seen. I, I have, yeah. Where do you sleep? Have you, well, I don't, have you had one of those watches? I, I have been, yeah. Uh, typically, um, we just kind of sleep. The, the 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 place, like the little the little hut that they that they they, they built. Um, the way it works is the desk. We fold it down, uh, and, and becomes a bit of a, a bit, bit of like a, a place where you can put like a bedroll in and, oh, you know, right, and lie right, down right. in. Do you do you keep records of people who come through? Uh, yeah, we do. Hmm. Hmm. Especially, uh, well, uh, we don't write down the names of everybody, but, um... People of interest. You know, people that we should keep an eye on. Uh, we get, like, a description. I know. I elbow cast. <clears throat> okay, look, I don't understand anything about how governments work, so... That's not my fault. <laughs> Wait, how what works? <laughs> government. Bureau, Welcome right, to bureaucracy, Cass. <laughs> Your us, you know, if yes. we if we think people are suspicious or um, but we don't have anything to like, you know, pull them to the side of the road, uh, then and yeah, there, yeah, but right. like, uh, we need to keep an eye on these people. We get like a, a rough description um, sent. Uh, Do you? Back since we're sort of we're on the lookout for this particular character, do you? I think we might be able to get access to some of those records. Is that something I know we're just mercenaries? Uh, I don't know if they're... Well, you're gonna have to take it up to the captain, uh, but I'm sure okay, if it's right. relevant to the investigation at hand, then I'm sure he won't be opposed. All right, all right. Well, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll yeah, no through to get escorted. All right, so you Neither travel of them towards have the tattoo, do they? Sorry, neither of them have the tattoo, do they? Make a perception check. Oh, fucking damn it, really? And they in armor, <laughs> like. I don't know. They are wearing their armor. Natural yeah. motherfucking 20. As far as you can tell, they don't. Okay. That was a wasted nat 20. Nope. Totally worth. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> so you you make your way to the keep itself. Um, enter through these like big wooden doors. Uh, inside the keep. It's a little smaller than the keep in Aldilon, obviously. Um... It's it's a it seems to be like a two story building. Uh, plus, you you assume there's probably some kind of like prison type deal going on underground as well. Um, there's a little desk, and behind it is a uh, halfling sitting on a chair. Uh, a male, probably like not not looking very old. Tiny spectacles on his on a you know resting on his nose. Um, yeah. All right, come over here. What can I do for you? Welcome to uh, welcome to the Street and Keep. Uh, what's uh, what's your business? We the chief. You have you have an appointment? Uh, we're um, here to see the captain. Uh, we were sent by General Cron. Chapter General Cron, were you? You got any paperwork? Sigh. Yes, <laughs> we do. I we post the paperwork. And um, he'll take it and start reading through. All right. Um, I'm assuming Captain will be expecting you then. Uh, all right. Just um. Stairs behind me, go up them, take a left, uh, first office on the right. Yeah. Uh, that was the right, yeah. and then the first office on the left? No. Nope. Go up, take a left, first office on the right. He's very old. Oh, ah! Left, right. 
Up, okay. up, down, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Do you need me to escort you? I nod no, and I'll like go to take the lead to walk forward. What? Right. Tamaxi seems to know where she's going. How, 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 how'd you do with birds? I mean, it's inside the building, right? Or is it not inside the building? I'm assuming. No, I'm just, no, I just like it's. I just step to one side, and the owner's there. Do you mind I mean, just uh, as long as it doesn't shit in the floor mind. and uh, doesn't attack any of the, um, you know, people here working. You hear that, Onu? No more shitting on the floor. Onu <laughs> looks at you and like as much emotion as like a bird head can convey. He looks at you and you can almost see him sigh. <laughs> <laughs> he does the sigh yeah. sigh. Do you mind yeah, if I leave with you though? I probably shouldn't I bring do mind. One. You do mind. Uh, he is bigger than me, so rather not. He's very polite. Sure. <laughs> Much rather have him, you know, Fine. away from me. Come on, Onu. I don't think he's carnivorous, so he wouldn't eat you. Oh, he's carnivorous. Ooh. Is he carnivorous? Oh, then yeah. Well, okay. Absolutely. Oh, he would eat you. All the more reason to get that bird away from me. Well, you know, Onu. maybe like. Oh, no, don't eat people. Tall. Away from me. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking up the stairs. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'm going. Following, uh, I guess, Dagon's lead. Yep. Me and Dagon are just trudging up the stairs like, fuck this shit. Yep, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I'm gonna mimic Davian and turn to Onu and go, don't eat people. <laughs> and then just continue. And she said to eat people, Onu. <laughs> yes, I did. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to terrorize NPCs today. Fuck's sake. Um, so, you, uh, you, you get to the door that, uh, you know, the, you follow the directions and get to a door. Uh, and, like, there's, like, a plaque, like, like a little, like, plaque outside of it that is, uh, it just, it just says Captain Rina's. Hello! Hello! The door swings open, and in front hey. of you stands um, a half elf, um, dressed in uh, like like a fancier version of the the normal uh, blue sentinel getup. Um, he looks you up and down. Suppose this is the group of individuals I have been expecting. General Kron sent you, I assume. Yeah, that's yes, we're here you to kill your lord. Indeed. Well, no. Well, not well, my yes. lord, but oh, if you a could... lord. Anyway, just, just come in. Come in <laughs> Where do you have a lord talk. problem? We mm. have a yes. I suppose that's one way of putting it. Um, come in. Or exterminators, but for what makes a man a lord? He doesn't doesn't only land, does he? I feel like the title lord is uh, has kind of lost meaning over the years. I'm gonna go by lord. Davian I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna want. turn and look at a last one. Like, see, nobility means nothing. <laughs> well, Prefer I'm not, Duke saying, I'm not saying nobility means nothing. I'm just saying that. Oh. Uh... No, lordships mean nothing. Right. Oh, okay. Is that not nobility? I, 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 can, I can, I can, not all. Technically, I could say that I am the lord of, you know, my house because I own that. That's mine. Every my man is, is the lord of his his own kingdom. Right. So, like, it... this place is really. Anyway, what are we on about? Really Let's here, get shit done. We're not here for that. Um... Oh, that's true. So. You're here to uh, deal with uh, Mr. Fear Krog, correct? Yes. 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 Very good. Uh, I have read up your, on your investigation. Uh, Sai, I believe, is it? Yes, it is. Very good. Um, we've discovered the existence of an underground lair underneath our city, and we suspect that um, this lair is used by... Um, these uh these individuals uh, who i um i think that um well okay let me rephrase um i have a suspicion that the owner of the 10th ring a magic shop here in the city um has an entrance to this lair in her shop somewhere and i suspect her to um be involved in some way so what i do suggest is start at the 10th ring um 
you know, whether you want to try and explore the shop uh, at night when it's closed or barge in there, I couldn't give a toss. Uh, you're an official Kaldar business. So uh, with that said, take these. And he hands each one of you a blue badge with a moon on it. Hereby, you're all officially deputized uh, to deal with this threat. Um, you can go Wait. and act uh, as you please, but be aware that the, the things you do do reflect my authority, so please keep that in mind. Um, don't abuse this power. Absolutely. I promise not to do that. Uh, a question. Hmm? D does this mean we get some of the very cool armor you guys wear? No. Shit. <laughs> you see plenty of well kitted already, so I, I don't see I don't see the need to. Uh, anyway, deal with the threat. Kill if you need to kill. Make arrests as you see fit. Uh, I trust you will do the right thing. Kron spoke very highly of you. Uh, I believe a promise of payment has already been made by Kron regarding this job, but mm -hmm. I'll toss you a little bonus if you can find anything that proves that Vendetta, the tiefling owner of the tenth ring. Uh, has any connection to this cult, I'll pay you each 50 gold pieces. Sounds agreeable. Yeah. Mm. Right. You'll find the tenth <coughs> ring. Uh, it's a shop in the trade district to the northeast town. Um, like I said, how you want to approach this is up to you. I don't really care as long as, um, you know, keep in mind you're acting in my authority with those badges. What you do reflects me as a captain. So I'd appreciate it if you don't do unnecessary things that could refl end up reflecting me very badly. I'm putting a lot of trust in you, based on the trust Kron has in you. Don't disappoint me. The records of... Obviously, there's been a, a net cast, I suppose, a per perimeter of guards that are collecting information i suppose on on people coming and going to be sort of more wary of uh -huh. suspicious figures uh, is there any way we could get access to those records to um, maybe have a better idea who we're looking for uh well yeah i suppose um if you think it'll help the investigation uh, well sure. uh, you know we, we, these are a couple of solid leads but it might help us find some odds and ends that might have a little bit more to say than others sort of that sort of thing so early information is useful fair yeah. enough fair enough um I can't imagine yeah, just, how much uh, there is. In the office paper, next to but... mine is empty. If you want to just get comfortable in there, I'll uh, I'll go I'll go fetch the records for you. Um, get the things that are you know were flagged as potential you know fire setters. I suppose uh, I'll I'll bring them up All to right. you. Perfect. Uh, while you do that, I can always scout out the magic shop. I mean, like Actually... I said, the way you you conduct your investigation, I'll leave up to you. Uh, just don't fuck yeah. it up. We'll, we'll I can talk get about Ron it to go in invisible. In that, in that office. Mm -hmm. If that's all right. But I'll uh, and... yeah, just. Uh, it should be unlocked. Uh, it's, the, it's the door right next to mine. Uh, just. Uh, I'll be up there in uh, in a few minutes with, with the records you, you asked for. I'll uh, lead, lead the way into the office and sort of make sure it's relatively sort of isolated so that no one could be listening in. Right. I've got a plan for the magic shop. Whoever wants to go there. If this is, if <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I don't want to sit here and rifle through papers as much as anyone else. But I can't read. That's just a lie. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a lie. I don't want to. You can't blame me at work lap time. What? Oh, never mind. You see okay. me start to like go to sign something, and then I don't. You can. Eat. Right. <laughs> I'm not. We don't give a shit about fire starters in these records. I'm looking for mentions of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Particularly a Lazarin. That's all I, I really care think about. That maybe. I think we kept off the records. These would be off the record. I don't see us giving. It's worth. It's worth a try. If there's records of us in it. We went. We went past one of those. I mean, what's the ca uh, what's the captain's in on it? I don't think he would be in here. No. Right. He might be. Did anyone see a tattoo on him? Does the captain have a tattoo? Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, the check when he gets back, but if it's on his shoulder, um, I doubt we're going to get him to strip down. The door swings halfway. open, and there's like this pile of, pa pile of papers that he just flops on the table in front of you. Right, that's that's the records of the last few weeks. Um, see Are these in any order? Sort of 
time wise, uh, or is it just yeah the the you know the, the paper on top three weeks ago, bottom paper right. yesterday. That seems like a very backwards way to do things, but I'm nope, that... not here to criticize. Oh, it's because he, he picked it up like that and then put it down like that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Um. Okay. If you don't mind just leaving us with some some peace and quiet while we figure things out, we'll yeah, of course, uh, uh, hopefully. If you've got any questions, uh, uh, I'll be I'll be next door. You looking for a tattoo sign? Yes. Or yes. Yeah. yeah. Make a perception I mean, check. Yeah. Fuck. Thirteen. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> as far as you can tell, no tattoo. He does have a tattoo, um, kind of like in, in, on his neck. It's like a tattoo of like a very intricate looking flower, but no like spider web or anything. So, I think we're in the clear. I don't think the captain's in on it. I didn't see a tattoo. Whoever goes to the magic shop, I want you to. I want you to try something. So we kidnap the order. No. No. When Elazarin and I first had our running with this cult we came across a phrase that i think if you you know try and maybe utter it to the owner of this shop maybe we'll get something if you could pass off as initiates or something like that the time of dragons has returned seems to be a very popular little mantra among these cultists that are under fear krog so Perhaps we can get more out of her than having to break into the place or, you know, get violent. If not, um, you know, I suppose... Brooks. I was just going to send Thorn mm. through and let him go through Invisible. Come on. Fly. Can you sure, fix that tattoos? There's... I can cover tattoos. I can fake tattoos. Obviously, it won't hold up to, like, direct close scrutiny, it, you know. Well, let's not get sidetracked, all right? The... Well, no, if I, if I had a tattoo to pass myself off as part of the organization, it'd be more... Well, uh, no, 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 you, no. This is two separate organizations, old man. Yeah. We're going after Fear, organization Fear, Fear A. Well, oh, we're being hunted by organization right. B. Right. Okay, I do think, however... <laughs> your moment. I would like yeah, to definitely be... definitely wasn't me. At least... <laughs> <sighs> attending... At the, the tenth ring, because... If we don't get anything out of her and she is not involved or she doesn't play ball with us or anything like that, knowing the interior layout to some extent and just being able to have a glance around would be a much better way of knowing when and where and how we can break into it if we need to. Yeah, yeah. did he say what the 10th ring suggest... was? Sorry? Did he say what the 10th ring was? A magic, shop? Shop. Like, magic shop. Magic shop. Magic shop. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, Devian, could you repeat that phrase one more time? The time, the time of dragons, of dragons has, returned. has returned. I mean, I was going to suggest we do anything like a steel trap. When we make when we make our move, we do it under the cover of night, <coughs> and we B and E as it were. But I guess we should learn the layout. I can magic a magic shop B and E. Realistically, they're likely to have some form of enchantments. It would be nice to at least make my way around the room and what I'm saying. To see if Scout the joint, sort. isn't it? Exactly. Hmm. Um, I would like, like someone who's it. more <laughs> comfortable in, our, in the arcane kitchen. matters than me. Because I can also, find... I'm well, I can... Right, listen, 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 listen. The fewer the better. All right, we can't send in four people to walk around like, oh... I yeah, will... Yeah, I believe me and Kes could probably do it. Component? I will do bureaucracy who, work, I suppose. Who can yeah, detect magic? Mate. What? Hmm? I, I, who can detect magic? I, I, I can, I guess. Kind of, I no, I can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Wrong thing I was thinking of. Was thinking of <laughs> Someone who can detect mad uh, oh. I, I, I can. Mm, he can. Someone who can understand yeah. magic well should go just Jack because obviously goes. you detect magic I in a magic shop, magic. it's going to be like, do that. Fucking. I'm good at magic things. Do you understand magic Quite things, the smooth uh, talker. Really I've been cool. taking uh, notes of uh, Brooks. Oh dear God. Just let. <laughs> I Just don't want it to be clear that we're all together. That's the thing. Oh, no, I mean, I'll stay here and support I can this disguise table. all of us. I just. I can disguise. If we myself. are going to be an E this, then. I feel like. We don't know that yet. As far as I'm aware, I have the most experience in that. In what? So, okay. So, Jax is going in. Mm. I think Jax and Brooks. Brooks, you're charming enough. You might be able to persuade him. No, I'm just, thinking, much about magic, I'm, I'm just right? thinking. I'm just thinking. That's not the point. I, no, I'm going to be the chatty one. 
I'm gonna. You're the one that's gonna look around for some sort of magical alarms or whatever the fuck there is. It's a distraction. Does anyone know? Of, like, would you sit still, Elijah? It's really distracting. Thank you. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm just still itchy. He's still itchy. I know. I know. I know. I just whatever poison ivy something. It's probably my fault. Whatever. Listen. <laughs> Do we, to my legs I, somehow. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know of any like fancy magic academies or something back? I mean, there's, there won't be any here, but. Do we know? I any? mean, you could just mention. I... You could mention churches, I suppose. Just say you're an initiate from that and you require magic items. Um, no, I'm thinking. Kess and Daigon? Mm -hmm. Actually. No. Brooks, actually, rather. Is it a Sagalian thing? Yes. I am. It's also so Jax as well. Then make a make a history check. I I feel like I at least know of. I just don't necessarily know much about because of Eorin. Twenty one. I'm gonna roll shit, and I feel it. Uh. <laughs> There's a real fancy Two. abandoned wizard tower. Brooks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Schools? What the fuck is that? Um, Jax, <laughs> you are aware of the University of Darmouth, uh, a pretty highly uh, uh, recommended school for wizards, but also not just like it has like an entire like department dedicated to teaching magic and, 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 and you know, teaching training wizards, but it's, other than that, just one of the most, uh, one of the best universities uh, in um, in the known realms. Okay. I will communicate that to the party. Oh, okay, I was just going to ask that. Right, so, here's what we do. We don't want to split the party too much, and, you know, if things go, t I don't know how bad things can get in the 10th ring, but this sounds fun. Elijah and I will sit here and go through paperwork because fucking I really think that's important and no one else seems to want to do it. But no, I'll I just hand up. I don't. You say the paperwork, oh, and he said no one wants to do it. I'll just put my hand up. I'm quite happy to stay. Uh, if yeah. Diagon, if you want, uh, let 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 me explain. Let me explain my plan. Jax mm -hmm. and Kess. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but you both appear rather exotic by most people's standards, and I don't I can think... change my appearance. I don't. No, 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 no. It's very important that you look really. I mean, changing your appearance to maybe look more fancy or even more exotic goes without saying. But I, I do have YouTube. some fancy I can, clothes. I can I'll go make into my pose. clothes look really fancy. Everyone As... just let him finish. <laughs> Professor Lundgren, and I point at Jax. And Mistress Haraway of <laughs> Haraway. Okay. the University of Darmouth? Yes. Right. Why can't that just be Professor Jax? Because why would you don't want to give Lundgren your name? sounds more important, and fake names are probably better than using your yeah. actual name. Uh, 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 fair enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> Brooks. Lundgren. You look you look fairly snazzy, but also fairly civilian you're the handler right they're here important research we're on the continent uh, what's New about continent. bodyguard well we'll get to that that's where Diagon and Sai come in because they look fucking terrifying to be our handler. <laughs> so Brooks you're gonna do the talking they're gonna look around the shop you know <laughs> scratch chins detect magic but you know no one really knows look around and really case the place steel trap Right? Uh, exactly. Windows, exits, yes. entryways. Look important. Jax will probably have most of the attention because you're really big. He's so huge. Kess, maybe you can you can go places that you know you sneaky. wouldn't really be allowed, but they wouldn't see. I'm Brooks, you keep you keep him busy, okay? Do the talking. Is there is there is a story, right? Now, new continent, maybe new magical items. We don't know. They might have stock that's never been seen before. You know, they're here on research, something like that. Now, to avoid, you know, splitting people up too much, if, you know, if Dag and Sai, you're willing to go, bodyguards stand outside the door, look menacing. Maybe a uniform so that you both look relatively similar. Just stand outside the door. Maybe one of you goes inside and stands inside the door. Looks looks menacing. That way, we get a good look at the whole inside of the place. 
we got a good, good bit of chat with the guy behind the desk. And me and Lazarus will lead through these and we'll look for any mention of him or us and, you know, any potential leads. Okay. How do I put this politely? All right. Professor Lundgren. You really fucking overcomplicated this. Yeah. But it sounds fun, doesn't it? It, it does, does sound really fun. I don't think it's the most optimal way to do this. But me neither. Is what being in the theater is like? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Okay. Is it like a school play? This, this sounds like, well... It's a bit more complicated for a small school play, but it's definitely... Oh, okay. This definitely sounds like some good theatre performance I've seen before about bank heists and the likes. Hear me out. Mm. Like a about 11 oceans. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that story. I can name all 11. <laughs> okay, no. I'm pretty... No, no, this, this was the one that's about 13. <laughs> all right, right, right. Hear me out on this, all right? Seven of them. Ocean 7. <laughs> Hear me out. It's 13. We can't overcomplicate this, because the more complicated it is, the more shit that can go wrong. Mm, that's true. I think those of us that aren't doing paperwork, head down, find somewhere where we can watch it without all going in at once. We don't try and string some elaborate fucking story, we just go in separately. Okay, if you want to just to do so, you can do that. No, I'm just saying that if we go in separately, it's a magic shop. They have customers. We go in, we browse shit. Like, it's but not if we have of. two esteemed guests that's from a university that's well renowned perhaps we get a little more of a look at things that you know might be more worth our time well surely the fact of it is that we're gonna i mean the, there's two things that i want to do right i think first of all we want to case the joint right we want to have a look just around like the doorway look at what sort of traps and such they have in place that's why we need someone arcane minded and then I'm just going to talk to a woman and be chatty and drop this phrase and see if anything happens from it. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But we can't assume that anything like invisibility is going to work. We can't assume that any magical disguise is going to work. It's a magic shop. Yeah, they might. Right. Magic them. items have got to come from somewhere. We, For all we know, this this tiefling's an, an enchanter. But, the, a, a but what I have in mind, we, we don't necessarily need any kind of magic other than detect magic. it's very it's elaborate and a very elaborate tends to fall apart very quickly. While they're talking, I'm just gonna go ahead and start like it grab a, a pile of the papers and just start going through them and sit down. <laughs> yeah, I'm going through. Wait, before think... as as Dagon starts to do that, I'm gonna take the pile and I'm gonna flip. Uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll look from the top. Because I'll just kind of. I'll just. Yeah, not I'll write, I suppose I'll go them. change into my fancy clothes. No, I, I. And I go find an empty room. I would like to disguise those of us that are going. Mm. I would like to not use magic. We're going to have to use practical effects. Which is if, my real house. I think we just I can help spend some head. time, filter in one or two at a time, separately as different customers. One or two go in, they hang around, everyone who waits outside until they come back. If they don't come back after X amount of time, we know shit's wrong. Okay. But we just, simple. Simple okay. works best. We should watch the place to see how much business they get on a you know, hour to hour, so it doesn't I look so weird. Like, I, I would like to be in there having a chat, but I would also like to have people watching it. Because I think all of us going in together are suspicious as shit. That's true. And Unless think... you dress it up. <clears throat> that you've got two... And we oh, might learn I, more I, if we go I in individually and different things. I know Darmouth, but all it takes is one slip of the tongue or one mistake, and that's that, like... Oh, As someone that mistakes. has had this shit go bad, the more elaborate it is, the harder it is to recover a fuck up. Okay, yeah, so I we usually just go in cart, and right? improvise. We hire a martial artist, contortionist, to fold up inside the laundry cart. And when we wheel it in, he's going to unfold, climb under one of the tables so no one sees it. We're going to wheel the table over to the door. He's going <laughs> to. I'm going to start I, listen, getting out I of my I fucking my love my plan, kit. and I'm mad. All right, that's all I'm going to say. I, lo I love your plan, but. It's practical. I mean, as uh, much as I hate to agree with Brooks, he is right. The more. Why do you hate to agree with me? Oh, I don't know, because it's just funny to say it. <laughs> um, he is right. The more elaborate the plan is, the more it seems to go. It's not downhill. super elaborate. It's two people don't elaborate. even. Well, it's most people don't even need to interact with it's, the It's pretty it's elaborate for just going in. And if you present yourself as researchers or whatever, how, what if they ask you for official paperwork and things like this? You don't have that. 
I can make who's, paperwork who's, like who's, that, but I need time. carrying all that around anyway? I need hmm. time. I can make shit like that. Like, if we want to do your idea tomorrow, I can prep shit for that. Like, if this doesn't work, I'm happy to go with your idea and I will make the fucking paperwork necessary and shit like that. I just... I feel like we have a very solid plan and we should go with it. They're, they're a shop. They're not going to question people coming in and looking around. I'm going to go change. <laughs> oh, and Jack goes and changes. God. Sure. And when he comes back, he's in a nice brown plaid suit and matching pants. Damn. With a little little purple bow tie. Um, oh, nice dress shirt. Looking like Doctor Fucking Who. <laughs> <laughs> Kes is gonna make her dress look fancy. But he's still anyway. wearing his so hat. She's gonna go in the corner and take off her dress and fold it up, and then cast um, distort value, and then put the dress back on, and it looks like much better. Nice. <laughs> and that's what she's gonna do. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So How long does that last? Uh, that lasts. Like Ten minutes. Right? Eight hours. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're good, you're good. All it's... Right. I mean, it's fucking stupid using magical disguises, but I guess that's something that, like, I can see someone actually doing day to day, yeah, so... exactly. Okay. It just makes me look really right. pretty. Who's coming with me to the fucking magic shop? You need all the magic you can, you well, can get you your hands on for that. You said we should go together. No, I think we're all going to go together. I'm going to find somewhere to watch you, but we're going to go in one or two at a time. So mm. who's coming with me to the magic shop? Me. Cass. I suppose me. Uh, I can come along too. Yay, okay. Sai. Okay, so what's for? The the three fucking hardest to disguise. Cool, right, okay. I don't need to disguise. Yes, you do. I look dashing. <laughs> yes, but you also look like you in a suit. <laughs> so if shit goes is... wrong, they're gonna look like they're gonna look for you and a change of clothes ain't <laughs> gonna fix that. I well, have I look an like armor you. and a mask, so... When you can look like you in a suit. I look like me in a suit every fucking day. Who's well, going to come looking for you're it? More of a We've been given badges. Shirt, We're literally combo. part of the police. That's you true, we are. If she... If, if if these people are in with this fucking dodgy arsonist cult, do you think they I mean, give a shit? The worst we interrogate her, get the information out of her, and... Oh, move God. On this That's is the backup plan, isn't it? Back yeah, up if, if shit goes wrong, we pull the badge and kick some ass. That's all that matters. Nice. That's why I want I'm this to send like six people that. rather than to the four. magic shop. <laughs> bye bye. It's so, so much. As as Jack says that and assumedly just leaves the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to go Very to the magic dramatically. shop and who's going to stay? To look I'm, for the I'm going to the magic shop. Team oh, magic shop. Oh, yeah, Staying these, here. These guys in... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay to start putting on a, a disguise oh. of some kind. Yeah, I'll stay too. For that. So I'm gonna use my disguise kit. Okay. Three people unite. I don't have a disguise kit, but I am proficient with wait, them, so I can wait. help them. Wait, wait. Everyone except Kess and Jax are staying? Yes. Yeah. Well, they're just I'm disguising going. themselves, but yeah. I'm going with Kess and Jax. No, we're going. <laughs> no, we're they're going. They're first. You're staying to disguise. They have already left, so I yeah, have they're idiots. five minutes. So I'm going with Kess and Jax. Okay. I'm still looking through papers. I'm looking, yeah. Me and Dagen are, are now creating like a system of like looking through yeah. papers like a dumb weird like. So like, Basically, yes, no, 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 like, no. This is that we've looked through a pile and we'll yeah. pile for, hey, you should look at this because there's something relevant on yeah, it. And yeah, and shit. Yeah, we're, sure. We're, we'll we'll we're get to that. To be fair, uh, fair 95% of it is like, this is irrelevant. <laughs> it's yeah. like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. <laughs> so, uh, you guys make disguises. In the meantime, before, before they've made disguises. In the meantime, disguises. Jax, Davian, and uh, Kess, what do you do? I, were we given like an area of where the magic shop is? Yeah, northeast in the in the north shop industry. Industry. I, I guess you head if northeast I, then. As as I catch up to Kess and Jax, I will put an arm on each of their shoulders and I will say, "Professor, <laughs> Lady Haraway, I believe we have a magic shop." To case. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right you are. Uh, I, I do need to stop for one thing along the way to complete okay. the disguise. Right. I'm gonna take off my uh, cloak and backpack and I'm just gonna say, just chuck that in your bag of holding with your jacks. Uh, yeah, and I'll hold up the bag and you can just drop it in. Boom. Oh, why is it? What's that? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what, what, what? Do you have something stuck to your bag? No, no, it's not. It's not. <clears throat> uh, along the way, I'm looking for a tobacco pipe. <laughs> um, there's yeah, there's shops that that sell those. Right. If you look, if like you look to go again, in. just like a normal, like just a normal one, a nice a little one, more, a little you know? more fancy. You're looking at like you know fancy. a gold or so uh, to have like some finishes on the wood. I'll get some but, tobacco with it as well. Uh, sure, uh, that would be five silver for a container of tobacco. Back on our pipe okay. shit already, boys. Back on our pipe <laughs> <laughs> one never left, baby. Just, <laughs> like, make sure my uniform is like looking fairly sharp, you know. Okay. I come back out and I'm smoking the pipe as we go down the street. Mm -hmm. So you head to the magic shop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I <laughs> uh, do. I I can feel my alignment. Shifting <laughs> to chaotic neutral. <laughs> Welcome to the party, man. <laughs> um, so while you guys are doing that, uh, Brooks, make a check for your with your disguise kit, please. Okay. Uh, what style am I using? I'd say for the purposes of this. Um, it specify. I have proficiency in it. Yeah, I'd say, I say intelligence because you're like you know you're um, you're. Uh, can I help him? I'd say intelligence Pardon? or wisdom. Uh, because... I'm not good at either. Why couldn't it be deception? Well, because you're trying to, like, from a from a objective point of view, decide yeah. will this fly as a disguise. There's no persuasion okay. or deception in yeah. there. Intelligence or wisdom. Yeah, I'll let you decide which uh, one. Seventeen. Could I could I help him because I'm also proficient with disguise kit? I'll give him advantage then. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Well, that's still seventeen. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Convincing enough, you kind of like look at Sai and Sai would also I have, agree. I like, have yeah. an absolute idea for Sai, right? He's an Aganasi. Mm -hmm. Naturally blue colored skin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some sort of like yellow powder out of my disguise kit and put a bit of water in it and turn it into a paste. And I'm going to paint it over your skin and the yellow is going to make it turn sort of green. I'm going to pull out some prosthetic like fake tusks and I'm going to do my best to make him look like a uh... half orc. Nice. Okay, make another make another uh, check with your disguise kit then. It's actually a really good idea. Ooh. Like it. Ooh, dirty twenty. Yeah, I mean, Sai looks like a very convincing half orc. I'm gonna make myself look like a like uh, Daigon. You're still like in the room. Half last you're in the room still. You like the, the, the complete different Sai, complete different person. I did that double take. Is that like I don't speak orc though? I just give a thumbs up. Yeah. Good job, then well we done. We will hope that. Our... You know, good job. Well, it's a tiefling, right? We'll hope none of the staff are rockish. Mm. Mm. Well, good luck with um, whatever those crazy punch you got onto. We're we're gonna sit mm. outside, let them do whatever the fuck they're yes. doing, and then not be affiliated with it. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we know that you left to go. Know. We don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. You're still uh, the chaotic so back part, to the magic so... shop. You arrived at the tenth ring. Wait, uh, guys, do you have like hair hair bands or anything? Um, yeah. Can I just can I borrow one? I just feel like I'm mm -hmm. a bit of a mess right now. I so will like, take one of my hairbands tangled. out of one of the many parts in my hair and hand it over. I'll just like... <laughs> tie my hair back. That's uh, probably going to I was like, that's yeah. what it sounds like. Yeah, we've been like. listening. I, I haven't bathed in a while, okay? It's... Okay. <clears throat> so you enter... I will make his hair look better shop, with the tenth ring. Inside... I, oh. I go to the door. Yes. And open the door. Is it pull or push? It's push. Okay, so I will push, open the door, step inside, and, mm -hmm. and hold it open. And allow them allow them to enter. Uh, I will mm -hmm. enter like uh, I'm, thank not you, show, I'm not gonna show any kind of gratitude. This is just a normal thing that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Close the door behind them. Um as you enter, um it's a small shop. It's not particularly like big or anything um it's kind of like a rectangular shape but that do, does seem to be like another section like at the back right um uh it's like like a i don't know how to describe it properly like the the, the shop takes a turn i guess is you know it's like a yeah um mm -hmm. like l-shaped yeah like l-shaped yeah, yeah yeah that's a that's a good way of putting it um just make a perception check to see what what, what y'all what y'all kind of see Immediately around you. Ooh. Dude, my decision has been nuts today. 24. 
24? 25. Okay, that, okay dude. 16. <laughs> Fuck. I thought okay, I was good. Um, you will see <laughs> that around the bend, um, there is a door uh, that leads to a different section or a different place, different room. Uh, the room, the, the shop itself, filled with a bunch of display cases and shelves and whatnot. Uh, right now, a couple of people inside kind of perusing, and you do see parading through and immediately approaching you as you entered a blue-skinned tiefling, kind of these like curled horns, some jewelry, and as well as well as wearing like this big flashy necklace around her neck. Good afternoon. Uh, who might you be? Uh, visit. Thank you for visiting this shop. Uh, you look, you look uh, like people that uh, have exquisite <coughs> taste in the uh, arcane. I can, I can, I can sense it about you. Uh, what can I do for you? Of course. Uh, allow me to announce. Uh, of from the University of, of Darmouth, Professor mm -hmm. Lundgren, and uh, Lady Haraway. Oh. Professor uh, Lundgren, here. Lady Haraway. Nice to meet you. My name is Vendetta. Nice to meet you. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. Interesting name. It's a tiefling. It's kind of how we, uh, you know, it's kind of how uh, we uh, Of course, of course. I'm uh, Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Uh, we're here to peruse what uh, curiosities you, you might have uh, mm, Curiosities of quiet. plenty. Uh, anything in particular you're looking for? Or do you want to just walk around? And uh, if you want, I can kick everybody out and you just have to shop to yourself and, and have a peruse. You know, obviously people of, of, of your, you know, it's more important than, 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 you know, these people can come back and have Well, that would be lovely. Thank you. She'll turn around and just in Infernal, I don't know if any of you speak it, Assuming Brooks would. No. Like, her voice starts to just boom. You know, she casts thaumaturgy to make it extra, like, amplify mm. it. And just, in Infernal, just starts yelling uh, to get everyone's attention. And then, in common, shop's closed until, uh, for, for about 30 minutes, we have an important uh, meeting to attend to. So if you please all get the hell out. We'll be back. It's like the chorus of a metal core song. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Please much. leave, guys, thanks. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> everybody just kind of like, and then leaves. There we go. So, uh, feel free to browse, peruse, have a look. And if you need anything, I won't be far. I'm going to start wandering around, looking at things, moving very slowly. <laughs> just uh, like the purpose of this, yeah. moving forward. Stand by the door. Um, I would like each of you to make a performance check. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Plus a D4. Oh, nice. Duke's Maybe. missing Gen right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Gen had a plus 90 16, or plus 14 or something. Plus, to yeah. perform. Two plus uh, 21. 19 for me. 19? 14 for me. Okay. Also, at what point would we be reaching the shop with, or right nearing about now, the right shop about with now. it? We'd spend about 10 so minutes we'd find outfits. some, some place, leaving. maybe out of sight. You see sight people that we leaving could, the shop, yeah. That we could observe. We people, see people leaving the shop. We're going to post the shop, yeah. on like a bench or somewhere and just watch. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, from the outside, uh, for those like watching for, for you, excuse me, two? For you two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's just, uh, uh, Brooks and Syra. I think Syra. so. I yeah. think so. Make a perception check. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> I need to write these names down because I'm going to... Uh, 21. <laughs> I keep repeating it in my head so I don't... What did you roll, uh, Ethan? 12. 12. Um, it, Brooks, you see this, this L-shaped building couple of windows it seems to only have one story uh there seems to be this should just be a, a one-story building sai is um it? you see Sorry, um it? from like at, by kind of like walking by the building doing a little lap around the square that you're on you can see that these windows um are heavily reinforced um okay it seems that they do have the ability to open but uh they aren't at the moment you also as you walk past the door notice that the hinges are very very thick and sturdy and like it seems that brute forcing your way into the building probably won't work mm. i'll turn to uh 
a single story building you said yes okay uh, is it detached semi-detached it's attached it's completely like a separate like a, in a okay it, it, yeah it's not like the attached buildings to next buildings. to it uh single story as well yeah how big is the alleyway between them like five feet okay cool yeah i'll explain the the reinforcement stuff to <laughs> brooks right you know it's a, a magic shop mm, indeed Back on the inside, uh, what are you doing? <clears throat> I, I want to kind of like... I'm going to wrap my arm around Kess and like kind of push her sort of out of the eyesight. Like, not like push, but like slowly she guide us like kind of out of her eyesight a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll, I'll whisper to her as we're going along. Um, if you could maybe get try and get into that back room, I'm going to try and distract her. I'm sure she's got to have something back there, right? I am gonna nod and continue looking at display cases. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, and then I'll use my magic detector mm -hmm. to cast detect magic. And I want to pay a special <laughs> attention to any, like, illusion at magic going Sorry? on. I'm gonna mm -hmm. pay special attention to, like, any, like, anything emitting illusion magic. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things that get your attention. Or is illusion its own school? I think it's illusion its own school. It is its right. its own school. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything it's... like from that back room that's illusory? Not as far as you can tell. It's a thirty foot. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna wander back towards uh, Vendetta. And I love the name of the shop. It's grand. Oh, is it a play on words from the uh, the hells? I assume. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I'm a tiefling, nine rings, you know, the nine hells. This is the tenth ring of hell. That is a marvelous choice. What did you say your name was say. again? Sorry, I, uh... Ah, Professor Lundgren. Lundgren, right. And what about your, uh, your, uh, your colleague, Sue? Spouse, maybe? Oh, no. Uh, it, it, well, oh, oh, no, they're not. She's not really my spouse. No. No. It's more of a mistress on the side. <sighs> Associates. I see, I see. Um, I'm gonna, like, in Professor Lundgren, uh, oh, we can tell her. She won't have a go to Deramoth. While so. this is still going on, I'm it's gonna, like, business. I'm gonna, like, move quietly towards that door and, like, open it, like, just, like, I, I, I'm supposed to. <laughs> no, like, I'm sneaking, just that I'm just gonna open it and go to move in. Uh, the door's locked. Okay. Are you, like, you're distracting her, Jax? Yeah, yeah, kind of trying to like keep her like eye like away from the door, you know. Okay. Oh, I'm hating For this more and more. For the sake of this, <laughs> Cass, I Your do idea. want you to make a stealth. I do want you to make a stealth check. Okay. I mean, I love it, but I hate this. You know? <laughs> what a dice oh, rolling dude. going on. Plus four, so that's a dirty twenty plus. Jesus. Uh, five, so twenty-five. Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. Um, so what is it uh, you're looking for exactly, uh, Professor? Uh, I'm looking for Lund something Green. maybe special to this continent, of course. We, we want more things to study, obviously. Well, well, you know, what's, new what's, continent, what kind new of classes do you teach? You're a professor. What is your area of expertise? Maybe um, you could help me uh, decide. Well, I study uh, material sciences mostly, as material well science. as a, a small bit of evocation. Vocation, bit of uh, science. Well, um, obviously, you know, you obviously know. I should. I don't have to tell the university professor, but uh, you know that this continent is um, very in tune with the elements. So there is a lot of. Um, I wouldn't say new types of magic being discovered, but the existing ones are definitely being strengthened, amplified almost by by these new objects of power. Right. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, is this your first time visiting the continent? Oh, uh, it is. Uh, we've had tri many trips scheduled, but they've always gotten cancelled or funding, you know. It's the government doesn't like to give us funding. Understandable, understandable. Yeah. All right, well, um... While this is happening... Yes? Um, does she seem sufficiently distracted if I just glance? Make a perception check? Uh, make an insight check, rather. Oh, I'm good at those. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. 
uh insight what's my insight 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 plus six so that's 23. this yeah. is right in my wheelhouse she boys <laughs> definitely seems occupied with uh professor Magical at the moment. Uh, just like i want to use can't, like, my if her if her eyes could phys physically just like show dollar signs they would i want to uh -huh. use my thieves tool. i want to check and see if it's trapped at all before i do anything and then if it check okay oh my god oh my god why am i rolling so good because so um invest it's investigation right uh-huh uh 18. 18? yeah you notice that there's a small glyph okay like i'm gonna kind of like on on the lock itself that seems to be like emitting this very very dim blue light uh, I am gonna turn around and, like, walk back towards the others. Um, and have a look at the stuff that's, like, right in front of her. And, like, okay. really see if I recognize anything at all. Uh, one thing you notice is a Hat of Disguise being on a shelf, uh, which fairly, fairly, fairly common item. Yeah. Um, what, what's the most... This is dumb but like visibly like garish I, I obviously don't really know anything about how magical things are but like what stands out the most in the shop um what stands out most in the shop yeah make a perception check man looking for ostentatious items <laughs> natural 20. natural 20. Oh, Shit. Plus five, so 25. uh you notice that this shop is not just magical items it's also potions ingredients it's a bit of everything uh, as far mm. as magic items goes um there is like a um a, uh like a like a like an armor stand in the back like in the back corner of the of this this room uh that has these gauntlets equipped uh that mm -hmm. seem pretty like pretty bulky and large and at first glance seem to not really fit in a shop like this but as you kind mm -hmm. of take a closer look um they're like they're like gem encrusted and and there's this just there's just this this like faint red like um vapor kind of like constantly surrounding the gauntlets as i take notice of this and see so i cast like kind of moving back over to us i'm gonna like you know to try and leave Jax as engrossing conversation with um vendetta as possible i'm gonna be like oh my goodness and like i'm gonna head towards it and sort of kind of hook my arm through Kess's lady harrowy look at these you, you you must surely know and and just kind of like draw away and and sort of act really like you know invested in whatever these gauntlets are and as long as it doesn't like take too much attention away from the conversation i want to whisper to Kess, ask about the tears of Kosuth. okay <laughs> because um... hearing the way the conversation is going with Jax seems mm -hmm. pretty promising uh, the gauntlets, do they look, like, interesting at all in particular? Like, anything I recognize? Mm. Make an investigation check. Okay. Oh, 17 plus... Uh, investigation... Yeah, uh, 17. Uh, yeah, the kind of, like, the, the top of the hand, so, like, this part of the gauntlets... Yeah. It's gold plated and in the center of it is this triangle uh with inside of it another triangle so like the, the which is a symbol typically used to uh define things that have to do with the element earth ground um hmm. Um okay, I'm going to I'm going to turn around and look at her. Um these Gauntlets. What power over the earth do they have? Well, they are called the uh, gauntlets of the Earthshaker. Uh, what they do is, um, it it's enchanted to make you stronger. Uh, they also allow you to uh, cast a variety of spells uh, of the earth kind. Think about uh, tremor, earthbind, uh, Maximilian's earth and grasp, uh, stone Geomancy. shape, wall of stone. Uh, sp spells like that. Um, that is, I should warn you, though. 
and maybe mm. perhaps this could you know this, this maybe this interests you but um there is uh there are rumors that uh this this gaunt these gauntlets are cursed but obviously there's no way to really tell but uh, there is oh. talks that these um powerful gauntlets come with a curse that um well basically it is said that uh if you keep them on for too long the gauntlets will replace the hand and become permanent part of someone's body then again has not happened yet because here they are not attached to anyone but uh, that is see that is the, the the reason i bought them really was that the like, mysterious like oh maybe hmm. that sounds like just the kind of thing the university could potentially use mm. Mm, perhaps actually um on the topic of elemental magic I am particularly interested in um, an item called the Tears of Kasuth. Have you heard anything of these stones? Now that is interesting. Not too long ago, I had someone in my shop asking for the same item. Uh, I know of them who not possess one, but um, it is interesting. Do you know of someone we could potentially get our hands on one from? Um, I don't think I do, unfortunately. Insight check. Make an insight check. I don't believe her. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna gorilla if if she's Maybe. lying? Like I don't know, dude. Damn, these eyes are so hard to read, dude. Why do I use these? Uh, insight plus two, so sixteen. As far as you can tell, she's being truthful. Okay. I don't suppose you have anything a little more interesting kept out of public eye. Mm, nothing here really f fits into my field of studies. And what field would that be? If you don't mind me asking. Well. Obviously, the professor is quite interested in new and old kinds of magic, mostly elemental. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm more focused on a very old kind of magic. Very old. Very, yes. Um, not referenced to very often. Mark of Shadow magic. Mark of Shadow magic. Go oh. <laughs> Write that down, write that down! <laughs> 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 Hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, the Mark of Shadows is uh, is an elven. So uh, to rate, I suppose, right? Some elves are blessed with uh, this. Uh... Correct Supposedly. me if I'm wrong. Obviously, this is you know your your area of expertise. So, um, I think I may have something. To my office. Uh, give, give me a second, and she'll okay. head towards the door that you were previously at. Um, are you like actively watching her? Um, I'm gonna have Thorn watching her. Okay. But he's like invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. I uh, that I hate that actually. Didn't realize he was in here. He's just like vibing on a counter. Of course somewhere. you didn't. He's invisible. Yeah. yeah, but like, oh, let's... He's like Playboy let's... lounging on the counter. He, yeah, he's just if, like... Imagine the invisibility, vibrant. like, they have some interference. Yeah, I know. Yeah, That's but why we're... he's not he's vibing near me. people, it makes sense. That's why he's not vibing near me. And he's just kind of very <laughs> casually reclining. He's mm. casually vibing. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to... <clears> Which little... is the only kind of vibing he does. <laughs> His little, like, wings flapping, but he's just, like, leaning yeah. back, like, just vibing. Yeah, leaning uh, he, against a potion bottle, just sitting on that counter. How big is Hawthorne? He is about 30 centimeters high. 30 centimeters. <laughs> one foot. One and a half feet? No, it's one, one foot. foot. Exactly. One. one foot, exactly. Two and a half centimeters is an inch. It's one 12 foot. Inches is, is 12 inches is 30 centimeters. 12 inches. You're right, you're right. Six no, inches is 15. Up. She'll come back out of her office with this cloak. This right here is called the Shade of Shadows. Mm. The 
this cloak is uh, it is uh, the origins of this cloak are unknown but it is very old ancient and uh, peculiar may I examine it the most brilliant minds in the empire have failed to completely unlock the secrets of this mm. item uh, nor its craftsmanship or its purpose but um what has been discovered is that um, it can function as many different items. You wear the cloak, it gives you the protection that, say, adamantine armor would give you, give you the abilities the cloak of displacement would give you, uh, give you the abilities the ring of mind shielding would give you, all at the same time. And then there is more, much more. Uh, this cloak also cannot be located by any magical means. And identification, one D &D, guys. identification is impossible. Can and I also, in order to use it, the um, you know, attunement is a long process. Could take years. Makes sense. Um... If I get closer to it and like start looking it over, do mm -hmm. I recognize anything of it? Make anything like uh, what you see is um, like it's it's an inky black cloak, yeah, uh, high quality fabric. Um, but as you get closer, it it it, it becomes like unna it's unnaturally dark. Uh, it also Vans seems to have like uh, it just projects shadows throughout the room that shouldn't normally be there. In different shapes and different forms. Um, <clears throat> she kind of like looks at you and hands you the cloak. You feel free to take a look, of course. Thank you. Um, I will examine it. Be very, be very careful, milady. We don't know if. Quiet, uh, Hemsworth. Have to pay for damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would like you to make a... Oh, yeah. Wisdom saving <laughs> throw. Saving <laughs> throw? No, 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 Oh, oh. But eventually, uh, like, retract back to the cloak. What is it exactly you're looking for? When, when, no, when I'm you know, looking cloak? for any recognizable craftsmanship, anything I've seen before that feels similar, anything like that. And if it, um, um, if I recognize any stories about it that I've heard before. You don't recognize the craftsmanship. Okay. This cloak well outages you. Okay. Um, make a history check. Okay. Okay, history. I have a good history. Where's my history? Oh my god. There it is. Okay. Uh, 18. You also know that um, the Shade of Shadows is like one of the original pieces of equipment that inspired a lot of shadow sorcery uh, and, and shadow magic. A lot of it's got derived from this item and then studying it and, and trying to unlock its secrets, but still to this day, nobody has completely unlocked it's Bro, this potential. is just hanging out here, huh? Well, it's not. <laughs> mm. uh, Wait, what do you mean uh, it's not? It's in her private office. It wasn't for sale. Well, like, right, no. right, right, right. But, like, it's here. It's here. It's in the tent she, circle. She uh, kind of, like, grabs it back out of your hands. Yeah, 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 obviously. I give it back. So, um, this item was not for sale, but you seemed like the type of person uh, who uh, would, would I appreciate, appreciate you it. showing it to me. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, I'll just put this back, and she disappears into her office again. 
Um, as she does that, mm -hmm. do I sense any abjuration magic coming from the gloves? Basically looking for like a, some kind of like warding spell to keep people from stealing them sort of thing. Uh, yes, absolutely. How, it's like strong, strong? Yes. Okay, good to know. Come, oh my god. That just, man's more concerned about stealing the gloves than not abjuration magic. I'm not concerned about stealing them, I'm just curious, windows. you know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, budget-wise, what are we thinking? Well, I think that Cape is probably very outside our budget, as we do work. Well, I do not well. know. Uh, the University of uh, Dartmouth, uh, what, are, what are they working with? Uh, well, it well, depends on what the Dean wants to give us. So far, not as much. There's mm. not a lot of Marco Trader yeah, references. Clock, it's, uh, it is a uh, special piece that I... I don't hang in the shop for a reason, but... Uh, Obviously. I would say it's not for sale, like I said before, but I guess everything has a price, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be selling that anytime soon. We, we, we're still, still waiting to hear um, from from the university exactly how much we, we have to spend. I just thought we would come and get an idea of what, what sort of we're dealing with, especially, uh, of course, Professor Lundgren and his uh, uh, particular interest in evocation and uh, elemental magic. What, of course. Definitely... You know, a magic shop in a place like this. We'll, we'll, we'll probably be tra traveling uh, elsewhere, uh, south to um, to the city there. I, their name escapes me. We've not not been here long, but uh, Eldalon, I believe, uh, we'll, we'll we'll be heading there. Also, we we docked south there initially, but um, yes, yeah, so we'll we'll be heading there uh, as well to to you know, check magic shops there. But a lot of things there seem to get exported, so they end up back in the uh, empire anyway. Yes, uh, El Eldilon is uh, obviously the capital of the of the of the province, and um, a lot of the wares come in to the continent there, and then get exported to uh, all around the the area. Well, yes, well, I... we'll have to confer with Dean tonight, I think. And uh, yes. I am very interested in those gauntlets, though. If there is a curse behind them, that could be very interesting to study. Of course, of course. You want um, to know how much would that? Yeah, that would be wonderful. About um, five thousand gold pieces. That might be doable. Uh, we'll go. confer with Dean tonight. I believe we have a call set up, and um, get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> like it's a Zoom. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the hotel <laughs> and Zoom the Dean. <laughs> <laughs> like a sending spell. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what do you mean? You, you have a call set up. What does that mean? It, it's sending spells back and forth. We have some stones. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, um, I'll be open again tomorrow. Uh, feel free to drop by and let me know. So, sorry for the inconvenience to clear out the shop, but we do very much appreciate it. Not a problem. And I'll, I'll head towards the door and pull it open and stand aside for uh, Jackson. Right out. Yes. Mm-hmm. At this point, oh, uh, Brooks, I, you see um, Jackson Kess, accompanied by Davian, leave the shop. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a sharp, like, right turn and kind of, like, shepherd them, like, directly right out of the door and up the street. And when we get, like, 50 yards up the street, I'll just, like, oh, fuck, that was terrifying. Holy shit. And then get the back. Oh, and hands keep your mouth shut. Right, Jack. <laughs> fucking shut up! And I've pulled my belongings out of the bag. Jack's holding. Professor Lundgren. I right. think he went a little bit too deep into character. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Um, a couple of ales might knock it out of him. Um, I'm a child. And once, I don't once drink I'm like, ale, I drink the finest wines from across the continent. Yeah, yeah. Go buy the finest wines, <laughs> you fucking outdated currency. <laughs> oh, it my. is electro, and it had a very good place in our society about a hundred and. 1700 years ago but you 1700 know. and once i'm sort of back you know mm -hmm. unrecognizable again in my in my cape i will kind of do a little loop around and head back towards where brooks and uh Cy. okay we don't look like brooks and Cy. true yeah. oh true. no they don't did we see you wave I probably not, actually. I wouldn't have been paying much attention. I wouldn't have paid attention to him. He looks um, like a half orc, yeah. and I look like a. a Passively? Could uh, I yeah. have seen them waving? With my passive perception, could I have seen it? What's your passive perception? Maybe? Uh, 16. Who waved? Me. 
just like that. Yeah, you'll see, like, you know, a half-elf you've never seen before gives you a wave. I just, I'm pulling a really grumpy face because I don't, I don't know what else to do as the orc, so. <laughs> yeah, that's hard not to when you That's you're like, what half-orcs do, right? Yeah. Can I, can I roll anything to see if I recognize them just by their stature and build <laughs> and, like, equipment? Uh, I, mean, I don't, technically, have, I don't technically, have my vest on, but I have the same trousers and shirt. So. Technically, my hair would still be like have little wisps of cloud uh, of air like moving around. I, I'd say okay. if that's the case, then you yeah no you don't have to roll a check. You you have a good idea of hard to okay. hard to disguise that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll I will... pass you a hat. <laughs> um, well, I mean, Sai and Brooks are about to go in, so. Oh, See if they find they? anything else. Yeah. They wave to us. Yeah, you know who Simon Brooks are? Jax? I, I don't know who Jax is, and the Simon Brooks are probably janitors for the college. Oh, oh fuck it. Right. Uh, I want to hit him mix. round the back of the head. Go for it. <laughs> with a jump. Just yeah, I'm just going to, like, I'll levitate <laughs> the first time just to hit him round the back of the head. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> so Jax, you just get like this, like just Pop. to the back of the head, just like a like oh. flat hand. Cut it out. Damn it, was that you? <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Right. Um, <laughs> for what it's worth, you both did great in there. To be fair. Thank you. I don't need two concussions from two people I'm traveling with. Interesting then... though. What? She mentioned that someone had been in for the Tears of Kosuth. Yeah. Which leads me to believe that maybe she's not associated with. Oh, Fear yeah, I don't, I don't think so at all. I mean, not with Fearcrock, just with the uh, Kasuth tears. Well, maybe she was waiting for us to say the passphrase. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll find out if Brooks and Sai manage yeah, to say it. Yeah, hopefully Brooks and Sai. Uh, no, I just think that would, would she say, oh, someone was in here looking for the tears if she. You know, but my assumption was that Fearcrock had them and. We've been led to believe that she is somehow associated with the, the cult, right? That they access it through mm. our shop. So you'd think she would just not say anything about it. Unless she was deliberately trying to mislead you. Well, I mean, she probably is trying to sound, you know, like a well-learned proprietor. And That's obviously the more she knows, the more likely we are to spend money there. That's right. She's enjoying you draw your conclusions. It's funny. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I mean, regardless of all that, she needs to die. I need that cloak. Why? <laughs> yeah. What, what is this? I need to... Have I heard I... of the Mark of the Shadow? By the way, uh, make, an, make, a, make an intelligence check. Hmm. He's a smart boy. Not probably smart enough. Fifteen. Uh, you've heard of like. Elven societies being marked by different things, and you just assume that the Mark of Shadows is, is one of those things. Oh, okay. Oh. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Well, yes, I mean, I, I don't really recognize it for anything. And Vandessa said it was Elven. And... Yes, and you're Which Ganassi. You I have my own interests outside of... Okay, and would you like to share them? No. Kess had said before that she's always been Ganassi, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um With that, uh, as you kind of like have your like after discussions and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I guess we'll make our way back towards the keep. Brooks and Sai, yeah. what are you doing? To be honest, I sort of assumed that they'd come over and tell us what they learned, but <laughs> fuck us, I guess. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna, I don't wanna like make it obvious. Yeah, you don't wanna like, walk out of the front of the shop and immediately, and immediately go and like go yeah. I you don't know, then... I don't know what you're talking about, guys, because you're not there. True. No, no. <laughs> so, you know, I know this. Brooks doesn't. That's true. Brooks is an idiot. True. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe. Brooks doesn't know. look like Brooks, and we're like far enough away that. Still an idiot, though. Still an true. idiot. I'm Are sorry. You... Which group went in and learned nothing of value? Anyway. I learned many things of value. Of value? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, uh. Mm. I'm gonna wander in. Uh, okay. I'll follow. Give it about about five minutes, then wondering yourself. Just peruse and have a look around. I'm gonna okay. do my best to be chatty. I'll wait a bit outside uh, after he goes in. 
I'll head in. Fuck it. <clears throat> okay. As you head in, uh, some of the other customers have also entered the shop again, and uh, I mean, yeah, you see the blue tiefling kind of guiding customers, uh, talking to them. Uh, you see shelves. You see, you know, the same material that I described before. Um, what do you do exactly? I'm gonna just pot around the shelves for a little bit and wait and see if it gets quieter at any point. Yeah. While also giving time for Sai to come in and not look like we're together. Sure. So I'll uh, wait probably around like five, six minutes, I don't know, and then yeah, head in. Sure, uh, you head in as well. Um, I mean, that shop doesn't necessarily get any quieter. Customers come in and go. Uh, okay. Just like a moment where like it ebbs to like uh, the one or two people rather than... Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, at that point... I will go up to the counter. Good afternoon. What uh, can I do for you today? Good afternoon. Um, I've been sort of perusing. I've uh, I've been sent by a, a, a friend of mine. Um, we <coughs> met uh, between here and and Eldalon. Uh I'm looking for a particular book. What book are you looking for? It is a book. Uh, it's a historical book. I wasn't sure if anywhere else was had of it, but I was told that you might. Uh, mm -hmm. The title of which is The Time of Dragons Has Returned. I see. Um, who is this person that uh, told you this, if you don't mind me asking? Someone that I believe is a mutual friend and probably wouldn't want their name spoken in front of other people. I don't need to check back on it today necessarily. I just wanted to make sure I had the understanding that you would be able to provide this if necessary. I have a copy of that book in my office, if you wouldn't mind accompanying me. Sure. Are you going to? <laughs> Yeah, why not? Okay. She goes to her office and motions for you to enter and close the door behind her. Are you new or something? Well, obviously. Otherwise, I would know more than just this one phrase I was given. We don't speak that phrase in front of anyone, ever. Who recruits you? I, uh, I, I really had a difficult time getting here. I hope you understand this. Make a deception check. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Who recruited me for I'm here? Deception? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am full of shit. And that's a fucking 21. 21? Well, it doesn't matter. What do you need to know? Given the recent failed attempts in a few areas around them, I'd love I've heard. It. We think this group might be traveling here within the next week or so. Is that so? In which case, I was... You no know shit. Tell me something we don't know. They left an invitation for them in the fucking sky. Of course they're coming. The, the timeline of which... I'm supposed to make you aware of mm. the fact that it will be within the next week or so. That was about as much as I was told. I was... Ugh, this is a rocky split. Okay. I was made... I, I was asked to make sure that you were available and aware. Aware, always available. I think everyone else may be panicking a little. Hence, bunch of amateurs. No idea what's going on, myself included. All you need to worry your pretty little head about is the fact that the world is going to be a group of d d d annoying, meddling little cunts, Porter, because they'll be dead. That's all you need to worry about. 
In right? the meantime, is there anything you need me to do? Yes. Go to whoever the fuck recruited you and tell him to raise his standards. <laughs> Burn! Ouch! Get the fuck out. Right now. Bef I wanted to do one thing while they were having the conversation. Okay. Um, is there any um, items like on the ground near... Because th they're in her office, yeah? Yeah, they are. Um, near that door, is there anything... Any items that I could observe like near the floor? Any items that you can observe near the floor? Like the bottom shelf yeah, like certain, certain shelves? Or... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I want to go as close to the door as I can. Mm -hmm. Kneel, kneel down and uh, act like I'm looking at something on the, and put my hand on the ground and see if I can feel any air currents going past from the entrance towards the office. You do. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's it. And I would get back up and keep observing. Right. As you do that, the door opens and uh, He's so smart. the tiefling will uh, like kind of like look at you, Brooks, and. That tells you to piss off, really. Just dip my head in that sense of you're being a cunt, but you're in charge, and <laughs> I will leave. All right. And I will go back to where I was waiting earlier, and I assume Sai is smart enough to not leave immediately. I will <laughs> not I'm leave not immediately. <laughs> 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 I'll just keep looking around, just at different things, and. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait at least at least like five to ten minutes, just staying in the shop, kind of like looking at stuff. All right. And after you leave, do you both head back to the keep? Yes. Okay. We'll head back to the keep. I'll I'll look at uh <laughs> I'll look at uh, fucking uh, Brooks really excited. So, how did it go? <laughs> Went well. I didn't give her much information, but. It's definitely, this tiefling is within this organization, and from the tone I gathered, fairly high up, was aware oh. of the oh. sky message, was not happy that I knew enough to be there, but not enough to talk my way through a full understanding. Mm. I'm probably very lucky that I'm charming enough to not be shot. Oh, or well, stabbed. That's good. Or um, burned I, alive. I think that the um, trap. Did you see any trap door or anything in the in the office? Did I see any traps or anything in the office? Trap doors. Any <coughs> trap doors? Any? I mean traps as well. Yeah, I guess. Um. <laughs> what's your passive perception? Sorry. Low, like uh, eleven. What you saw uh, was the office had some more shelves, um, a desk, and the corner of the room there was a big trunk uh, that you noticed was bolted down to the floor. Mm. Okay. That's all you've seen. Because... Um... Bolted down... Okay, this chest that was bolted down to the floor. Mm-hmm. Any marks near the chest? Like I did, you did not, you like did not look close, yeah, cl okay. nearly close enough to tell. Okay. Like the only thing you noticed I... about the chest or about the trunk is that it was bolted down to the floor, which struck you as like uh, you just kind of saw that on the way in. That's that's all I'm going to give you with that. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I'll wait until we're far enough away from the shop, and I will pull off the false ears that I have and take out whatever fucking makeup I had on my neck covering my tattoos. Okay. Uh, I'll just, I'll first go, wait, one second. A look behind us. Is there anyone that looks like they're following us? Make a perception check. They're going to follow us into a fucking keep and then they're stupid, but... My least Ooh, favorite thing. That's a good one. Uh, 22. 22? Can anyone, everyone deafen besides oh, uh, Vincent? <laughs> My first one, I'm so excited. For a second, and you blink and it's gone, oh, you God. swear you saw figures on uh, the rooftop nearby. 
And were they like looking in specifically you look, you at... were kind of looking around, you look up and you saw them like looking at you and then you blinked and they were gone. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would have I would have <laughs> stopped him before he took anything off. He's like, not to know. And and then just kind of like separate from him. Okay. And walk separately to the back to the keep. Okay. So the so the Brooks uh, is Soko down. Soko's still muted. Soko's still deafened, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't say okay. I was looking at the wrong people, all right, motherfucker. I was looking for Dutch's <laughs> thumbs up, and Dutch was giving a thumbs up. Okay, if, if he, he did, did. Dutch did. Oh, I I, missed it. Just if look, if everyone else in the call is, I'm going to glance over my shoulder. Okay, so like you're separating at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm still like staying near him. We're, just we're not traveling like, like as if on the same we're... road, but not as yeah. if we're walking together. Exactly. Okay. Oh man. I feel like it's too late. You already did the whole like. Oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Brooks, what but... should I see, Brooks? Oh, uh, sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. You notice that as you as you kind of separate, uh, an individual walks up and kind of bumps into you, and like, oh, excuse me, mate, <gasps> and keeps walking. And you feel this piercing pain in your back. <gasps> As there's this oh, dagger shit. planted <gasps> in your back, you take... Oh, shit. The heist plan was the way to go! <laughs> you take 16 points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. 16! Holy yeah. It's a rogue. Uh, there's some sneak attack shit happening in there for sure. I would, I would win the any of this! 20. For a total of uh, well, well, all you see, this guy like bumps into bumps into Brooks. And he's like, "Excuse me, mate," and he just keeps walking. And, and, and it, it, takes like a while, red. it takes a while, and that's when Brooks starts. Like that's when just like your eyes widen, Brooks, and you just realize like you didn't fully register that you've been stabbed until like a good few seconds after. And <laughs> there's just dagger plants in your back. Uh, you make the save, um, but you also you do that means you take half damage from the poison. Oh God! Um, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> that was a lot of dice. I just had. In the board, it's like it's all, it's all D4s. It's all D4s. It's all um, D4s. Would have taken forty points of poison damage. You take twenty. Okay. <laughs> twenty Woo! exactly. Twenty six. Yeah. <laughs> I'm unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. With that, Brooks falls unconscious. Sai, you see Brooks just collapse, and we're gonna pick this up next week. Oh my god! Oh, 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 get to roll for this the paperwork because we've been yeah. passing it. Okay, okay, real quick, but then we're gonna fucking end it. We'll, 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 okay, we'll, 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 I don't know what they're finding there, man. You at the paperwork. Yeah. Uh, Come on, give us the paperwork shit. Make an investigation check. Thank you. What the fuck, dude? Please roll good. If I roll like a one, I'm gonna cry. Oh yes. Twenty-two. Oh my god. Twenty-two. Table. Oh shit. Oh, 19, oh. baby. 22. Oh, I have a plus zero, but it's a natural 19. Hey, we're for 19. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you go to like the more recent pages. Um, you do notice that your meeting yesterday with um, that guard has been put in record, but mm -hmm. it got given the notes, uh, paperwork in order, under order of General Cron. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Other than that, Ooh, I... like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for people regarding this, okay. this, this whole fire okay. shit? Okay, so there, there's a, a couple things. Okay, is what I'm looking for. So on that meeting with us, there's no like other markers or anything, right? They're like add up. They look different. No, it's next to, like our name, but no. like us. there's no like additional marker on paper. That's no. cool. I also uh, uh, noted uh, the amount of people. Yeah, and you notice that the. Um, they marked you as six people, where there was actually seven of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I miss Get in! <laughs> um, so it seems uh, that you, like, being ducked down, yeah, avoiding sites, yeah. uh, has worked. Um, also want to know, yeah, just about people that they have said that might be included in this. Um, mainly ones who they've suspected, but didn't have proof of, if that makes sense. So, like... If they have some that, like, they think was, but they didn't have anything, like, on them, but they're just, like... There was something off about them, but not enough to like stop them. Um, I mean, regarding what exactly? Because there's a lot of names, but uh, I want to know like what exactly you're looking for. Well, like, like suspicion of what? 
coming into for like the fires and all that. So it's like okay. people who they think or people who travel and people who've like traveled a lot in between as well. Like mm -hmm. who aren't uh, there is a um record of the same individual, the same like description of an individual meeting different uh meeting different like stationed guards uh, surrounding street them uh, with on like like 10 different times in the same week uh when asked there's like a note um story changed uh first was Schrader, then a few days later he was a fisherman so his story seems to have shifted um Obviously not enough to arrest him, but um, yeah. and the last record of him being seen by one of those uh, guards was on the way to Streatham uh, two days ago. Okay. And I was and the vague description looking... of this gentleman is uh, it's a male dragonborn, uh, yellow, yellowy gold scales. And I was just also looking for notes on like general impressions of us if there's ever any like negative comments or if they like see just are, are maybe i'm trying to gauge how close of attention are they paying to us and is there anyone who's like overly interested more so than just like all oh, movements noted or all oh, these groups helping us does anyone seem like they're taking too much information down about us no it's very basic okay, okay. good to know what anything else um i mean i with all this stuff i'll kind of just like at least say to die but i don't think uh is he putting in official paperwork? Uh, is that? Does it look like anything to do with movements and stuff with the the? Yeah, the, just on any of the papers, does it look like there's like this discrepancy in some sort of like markings or anything like in just all the paperwork? Does it look like there's like? As far as you can tell, it's... not like a hidden code or anything. Nothing no. like the people like they've marked certain things so much they don't like. That's fine. Not as far as you can tell. That, yeah, I don't think there'll be anything on the official paperwork like this. But it's worth a shot. Better to be safe than sorry, I All suppose. Right. But With that, um, Sai, you what? saw Brooks get bumped oh, into no. by another gentleman, and then Brooks just dropped. Um, you look around you. Uh, but yeah, Brooks collapsed. And we're going to pick this up next week. Done. Fuck. Fuck. Done. Done. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! I think this is my favorite session of D and D ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This might be the one. That was so good. I hate you. I'm <laughs> shocked we got away with the itching powder situation. I'm not. I know. How, uh, how would the last one know about it? Like I was saying, yeah, there's ants and stuff all over the place. Until like... he finds the powder oh, in dude, his when, like when, bedroll when tomorrow. Ethan said, yeah, until I I'm surprised that. I didn't get shot or stabbed. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <You wait. laughs> I, I thought to myself, no, because that was in character. Because like too soon. <laughs> that's the thing. Like in 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 the moment, Brooks is like, oh, she's totally gonna see through this. Once it's done with, he's like, oh fucking, wow. I'm just that good. Dude, like, I mean, you know, that like, would have knocked. He didn't even think to look party. behind him. It would have insta killed a lot of us. Well, it maybe not. Have. It would have insta me or Ethan. If, if you I made the con save, I don't think it would insta. Yeah, if I yeah, yeah, yeah. If you fail, if it would insta kill I've, most of you. If I fail the con save, I mean, the con save twenty damage is my HP. <laughs> but the stab and that are been close to dead, like instantly yeah. dead. Without a con save, fuck, a lot of dude. Without, fuck. Without, without, if you without fail the con save, it's forty damage. You so we picked the die. right person. Yeah. <laughs> this way stabbed. I don't die until next it week. It basically had to be him or yeah. me. Uh, because we're the only ones uh, that could actually survive that. Imagine yeah. though, next session starts with you dying because no one noticed the side doesn't have healing methods. Like you die and then you just get to spend the whole session dead. I mean, he can stabilize, so it's like... Stabilize. If he can also, make like, a medicine, fuck up a medicine check, check fail one of his death saving yeah. throws. No, we'll save like... it for next week, because uh, we're, all, we're all here next week. Uh, Everybody's here, including... Oh the my yeah. god. I'm... I'm stewed. Oh, I was like the exactly. second, oh, the second the conversation started to get wobbly for Ethan, I was like, "This is fucking karma for shutting down my plan, you bitch." <laughs> it was so good. It was like just watch him start I mean, sweating, and I'm, I'm like, "I'm oh, sorry. Oh, what yeah. information did your group gather, Smile?" A um, regrettably minimal amount, but it was still. Fun. But they're alive. Yeah, it was a good time, fun. and we didn't get. Sad, I found it fun. So... The character thought you were idiot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not like that was really fun. However. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, you guys found fucking nothing. Uh, we they, found all. I mean, you know, we know. all ended up just pursuing personal. Yeah. Like interest rather than actually casing the joint, like I mean, mm, the tear of costume, Ooh, shadow magic <laughs> of the gauntlets protected. Not and then the you don't know that Jack pursued knows. that, so fuck off. And then, and then Ethan, and then, and then Ethan fucking right, just kicks anyway, down the door um, and it's just like we're gonna, we're gonna dragons. Gonna dragons. Sure, something Everybody, about dragons. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate you. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow for Divinity <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Dungeon Discourse. Who? I'm you going to the trivia. Yeah. Who you was like? right or the DM? Uh, I would say we had, Well, who hasn't done trivia yet? We hasn't done trivia Not yet. We know, I mean, Circus are going to be busy, right? I actually have Thursday off. Oh, Ooh, well, Matt, Laura, so okay. I am happy to be. Probably okay, a good Laura's call because your schedule is hard to. I'll yeah, say yeah, the next week. So we'll take Soko and we'll take. Well, I mean, night shift, I can do it on daytime, but yeah. Laura? Question mark? Let me quickly check. I oh, should be fine. Oh, Soko and Laura butting heads in trivia, dude. Mm. Easy oh, class, bro. I mean, no, it's Easy class. Soko beat me at that last trivia night, the one with Chris Ear hosted. And you oh, true. By like, by like two bit, points so or like, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Thursday. Because right, I feel free about me and then I want. Soko on, on trivia. Beautiful. <laughs> right, Laura's looking for revenge, boys. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. Have a good night. And, a little blast. Uh, see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Later. Bye. Bye, guys.